please? No. A wholesome bog? Yeah. Yeah, but no wait, holes. Wait, wait. What's the spinning wheel mean again? It's a throbber. Throbber. Throb hog. <laughs> oh, wow. Th ooh, I'm writing that one down. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> All right, Earth we're back. Hog. Sorry about that, guys. A throb hog. A throb hog. Uh, yeah, I have to fix the at. I don't know why this is keeps screwing up. Was that the first crash you've ever had? Uh, no, actually, it's the first crash. Um, during a stream, but not the first wow. crash ever. It's crashed on me when I've tried to, uh, uh, like work on it off stream. Why did that? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel honored that you were part of the, the first crash. Yeah, it's the first for everything, doesn't mean it has to be good. <laughs> you are here for the first throb hog. Please, I that's one bad thing I would not want to be here for. Wait, are we supposed to use like, line? Oh no, are we supposed to hold hands or hug after oh, this? Or what is no. That? <laughs> Light making out. There we go. The usual. I think we got it. All right. We're back. I think we're up and running. Uh, there we go. All right, let me know if everything's good. I think we're good. There we go. All right. Uh, we're getting into it. Apologize for the crash. And let's get us on the floor number two and get moving. All right. So there's that. You guys are all over this way. Jim, welcome in. How goes it, sir? Gup twos. I'm in the golden water. <laughs> the golden water, huh? <clears throat> What's wrong, Andy? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is uh, where you guys uh, did battle with the rat. Spicy rat. The uh, elemental rat. <clears throat> um, you remember there were three orbs in here. Well, two orbs now after the, the rat came out of the fiery looking orb. Uh, the orb uh, uh, collapsed in on itself, disappeared. The other two orbs are still standing though. You see one swirling with uh, uh, motes of earth and the other one with wisps of wind. What would you guys like to do? Oh, Boris does not feel very good about this room. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm comfortable with it. I can solve this puzzle. You just say the word, and I'll solve it right now. <laughs> uh, solve it so hard. Just I'm demolish the entire the room. <laughs> what? I didn't want to come here in the first place, but uh, here we be. So we might as well look around. I will say that uh, young Bresson looks like modern piece of art. <laughs> Are you okay there, buddy? The the burns, do they hurt? Can you, yeah. can you feel them? Uh, uh, you look uh, extra uh, crispy. <laughs> uh, no, they, they don't hurt. <clears throat> no. Okay. And uh, yeah, would I would I still be sickened after a long night's rest? Uh, no. If you guys were to take a rest, you you would be all right. Um, this sickened is from the rat, though I believe. Oh, all okay. right. Make me sickened again. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. Oh, not a problem. Maybe my pleasure, Lady Martha. To sicken you all over again. I did it. You hear that? He called you, Lady. God has spoken to me. 
Such respect. <laughs> the drip. The drip. <laughs> the riz. Mm-hmm. The riz. You earned it. Oh my. The riz rattler. Careful, Martha. Puzzles if, hurt. Yes. What happens if the rat that is made of water comes out next? The riz rat. The riz. <laughs> I will splash it with my hammer. Your sewer little comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Face. <laughs> <laughs> What's Martha doing over there next to that uh that there windy looking orb? Uh she's gonna touch it. Pretty. Uh, okay. Uh, uh so when Martha touches it, a rush of wind uh enters into the room and blows everything around, any clothing or hair on it, uh the party would uh kind of waft around. She does them does the Marilyn Monroe? Pull me yes. Down <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do the same. I, I was gonna say I hope Ajala does it too. I don't want anything. I don't have around. to. I have. That's what ropes are for. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! On the wind, you guys hear a whisper. It says, "Call upon the wind to gain my blessing and soar through the sky." Um, you can each uh, call upon the wind. Uh, once in the next day, within the next day, to spend an action and get a 40-foot fly speed. Oh. Uh, you have to end your movement on solid ground or fall and take bludgeoning damage uh, equal to half the distance you fell. Hey, wind. Uh, I'm going to call you. I want to gain some wind. Oh, you're going to use uh, it right now? No. Wind. Hello, are you there? No, no, Ujala, this is how you do it in Martha Lewis. I like, to that's what? how you call upon the wind. Oh, <laughs> Lady Martha, that's uncivilized. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then I do the same thing. <laughs> God. Now they're all breaking wind. Uh, Nuxter, no, I didn't. I Go was about to. to voicemail. And she didn't answer. Broke. So is Martha the only one with the fly speed or everybody? How does that work? Nope, all of you, which I think I screwed this up all in the first us. playthrough. Cool. I think in the first playthrough, I only gave it to one of the person that touched it. That's oh, the fire God. orb that's Martha, gone now. Martha, Martha, <laughs> Martha's <laughs> roasted. This is the earth orb over here. <laughs> Maybe uh, she'll become the next was, fire rat. I was waiting for, for Rev. <laughs> yeah, we learned from Rev's mistakes. Nice. I learned from the mistakes I made in <laughs> Rev's camp. No, it was Rev. <laughs> just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding, Rev. <laughs> uh, there's the hero point redeem. So we don't have to call upon it right here. We can call upon it anytime in the next day. Yep. Boss, one okay. action. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm not going to fly right now. Rev's going to remember my error, my misreading. He forgives, but he never forgets. No, he doesn't forgive. Oh, okay. Like a true centaur. <laughs> no, no they're, they're like a true centaur. <laughs> oh. I need a channel point redemption for David, uh, the unforgiving centaur. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lady Martha, did you go down there and mess with that earth orb too, or you just kind of had no? No, no. She liked the way the light and the fire orb made her look, so she danced around it. Oh, okay. Ah. Ooh, I want to go look at the Earth Orb. No, Hava has a nosebleed. (laughs) Of course. How much blood do you have? Not enough. (laughs) How does the enemy level smell? (laughs) Yeah, she's about to take a persistent bleed damage every round when she says this. (laughs) Oh, jeez. Worth it. All right. Uh, Ujala, are you touching it? I'm going to smell it. You smell it? Uh, yeah, it, it smells like earth. It smells like uh, dirt and grass. Can I rub Wait. it on my pits? Sure. Touch it to rub it on your pits? Yeah, uh, and then I say, hey, earth. You hear the sound of uh, <gasps> like a rock slide, a landslide. You hear a grumbling in the middle of it, grinding uh, like boulders falling down a hill. Mm-hmm. In, in the middle of this, you hear fall upon the earth to gain its strength. And again, like the other one, within the next day, uh, you can spend an action uh, to call upon the earth and all your melee strikes deal two extra damage from a sudden surge of strength. Ooh. Hey, uh, everyone, everyone. Bonus only lasts until the start of your next turn. I tell everyone. 
this the earth, the wind, and the fire, it it makes us stronger. We just have to call upon them. Come, listen. You, you put it on your pits? Well, no, I do that because, you know, it's cool. But if you just call upon the earth, it will make you strong. After he rubs it on his pits, you hear the old spice. Do 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 do. Preston walks. Preston rubbing on his and rubs his butt on it. All right, you have a mud butt. Yeah. And then he starts drawing pictures on the wall with his mud butt. I give him a high five with my trunk. Which one? <laughs> Not the one that's tied up. My actual <laughs> trunk. On my face. My face trunk. Okay, so I bet if I call upon the fire and I talk to the fire, hey fire, do you got something? No, the fire one's me? gone. When the rat called, climbed out, the fire one went away. Have you considered robbing the rat? <gasps> How about you go to... Don't get your rope too close to the fire, Ujala. <laughs> I rub my muddy butt on the rat. <laughs> Nothing happens. And I'm pausing this just for a quick second so I can drag the uh, new blessings over on you guys. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. Ooh, I could see it happening. I think if I had told you to stop, no one would have stopped. So I'm just pausing it and doing this. Are we, we we children to you? Because if so, then you're accurate, but still. Absolutely, hurts. yes. <laughs> I know my players. <laughs> okay. My dad will beat up your dad. <laughs> I'm sure of it. There we go. All right. You guys all have your, your little blessings there. So when you... Ma- Martha, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Better be careful, Martha. You're going to italicize. Yeah. <laughs> Chris has been stuck in this position. How do you guys flip again? F. Or fucking flip. I'm effing it and nothing's <laughs> happening. <laughs> oh, did you click on yourself? There you go. You have to click your token. You gotta touch yourself and then hit F. Oh, I saw you flip. Did you not do that? That was me. Um, oh, Rustin is going to pick the ladder back up. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna be like, okay, we gotta keep going. You know, uh, prepare for the uh, dragon because we're totally not ready for a dragon yet. So let's. Let's go, let's go, let's rush. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak. Preston sneaking with a ladder. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up the ladder. I'm mm-hmm. gonna climb up the ladder, and then I want to start sneaking okay. once I get up. Martha, come back here, please. Don't go too far, Martha. I kind of shout out to her as she disappears into the darkness of the cave. Martha. Oh, no. Where the fuck did Martha go? I lost her. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, there you are, friend. Good well, I thought you all said we were going to fight the dragon, so I went back to the room before the dragon. No, no, we are going to make sure there's nothing that will sneak up on us. This is a good idea. Sneak. But, but the last room you all got your asses eaten by one of my kind, so I don't know if going any further down other tunnels will really help us well asses aside we have to make sure our asses are covered I'm just saying we have the musicians of earth wind and fire on our side so nothing can stop us now hey I made that joke last session how dare you <laughs> <laughs> it was just as funny this time too oh All right. Boris oh. I'm gonna try and be sneaky got a nice stealth going on all right. And um, he's going to take it nice and slow, kind of creeping along on all fours. Okay. Creeping about. Oh, you definitely would hear some weird noises coming from inside. Have you hold up sure. there? Um, yeah. And anybody, is anyone following Brustin, kind of creeping along in here? No. No. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's on his own. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, you're good. I'm afraid I'll mess something up and then he he won't be able to snake. Okay. Hey, so, did he give us a signal? Uh, okay. His signal was climbing the ladder and sneaking off on all fours. The creepy little poppet that he is. Okay, I'm going to climb up the ladder. Mm-hmm. And then I am going to turn into a baby elephant. Excellent. So I, so I fit. 
And I'm gonna like I would like to stealth as a baby elephant. Perfect. See if I can uh go over to your feet over here and see if we can't do your critter shape. Can I give you pest form? I think I can. I've done this before, right? Sure where it was. Critter see, shape right oh here. No. Brown go. Effect pest form yet. Yeah. Oh my gosh! There we go. Baby, he's a tiny little guy. Uh, and I'm on my hands and feet, my hands and knees, or hands and feet, whatever. And yeah. I'm gonna try to stealth. Perfect. All right, I'll give you a, a plus two bonus to your stealth. Deal. I will take that plus two, and I will succeed with. Wait for it. These guys are calling their shots tonight. Also, Art Hard um, it is going awesome tonight. This may possibly be our last session of the beginner box. Depends on the party, of course. But we're having a great time. He's got good friends, a uh, bunch of streamer buds. <laughs> and they're <laughs> trying to... I'm waiting for... 17. 17? All right, yeah. Yep. So far, so good. Little... Okay. I picture the sneaky little elephant on all... Well... Elephant is already on all fours normally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sneaky little elephant uh, just crawling around the back wall, doing his best to not uh, toot his horn. Yeah. Yeah. I go and I, I, I rub my trunk against Preston to let him know I'm here. All right. No, yeah. Preston, you feel a little tap on your. I don't know. Where, where are you rubbing him? <laughs> Uh, on the shoulder. On the shoulder. All right. Well, suddenly it's PG-13 and not any worse. I'm a baby. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you didn't care that Preston's a child. <laughs> All I hear is the Jungle Book song where the elephants are marching. Yeah, out. same. It's same. It's, dude, I can't stop singing it in my head. Okay. <laughs> That's actually the inspiration for Ujala is the elephants from Jungle Book. Oh, awesome. I love that, that so That's awesome. Much. All right, so as you are getting up here, uh, and actually any of you guys uh, down this way, <clears throat> anybody that can smell, because I don't think Preston can smell, correct? I think is what's- He cannot. Smell. Okay. From what I remember. So everybody that can smell, uh, you're, you're hit with an overpowering stench. Uh, it's a, again, it's that smell like rotten fish and oily sweat. Nice, warm, humid air down here. Um, I need you guys. Nah, we'll wait on that. One. Um, need you guys to uh, keep in mind that it smells terrible up ahead. <laughs> uh oh. I do need you guys. Right. Okay. Like? Okay. Well, if I think Breston's AFK, so can I move up a little bit? And just scout around. Okay. <clears throat> and I imagine we're looking for another way into the uh, the dragon's lair, huh? Yep. All right. So you're further in this room, Ujala. And as you creep along over to this ledge, uh, I need you to roll a... Where does it go? I was just looking at it. Uh, a fortitude save first. <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, unpause it. Have you stay in your spot. Okay. Well, oh, shit. Yeah, I'm you're good. You are damn good there. You're completely fine with your fortitude save. That is the first nat 20 of the night. Hopefully there's more for you guys. <clears throat> um, and as you super stealthily sneak up over here, uh, fighting off the stench of uh, whatever's in this room, you see three things ahead of you. you. I said three, not four. There we go. You see these guys. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. They're reptilian creatures kind of sitting around in the room. They are all wielding uh, crude-looking clubs, I believe it is. Yeah, uh, crude-looking clubs, and in fact... Uh, I will show you. They look a little something like. Uh, gotta find them first. At the bottom. Are those permanent smiles on their face? They look happy. No. Oh. Oh goodness, that's um. <laughs> that's something. Not not really so, happy looking. 
Okay. The, like, the d- like a dump truck. <laughs> I'm going to just back <laughs> it up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to back up and I'm going to beep, beep. come over here and I'm going to look down the ladder and I'm going to just toot my horn and I'm going to give the no sign. Like, no es bueno. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to look at Breston and I'm going to put my hands up like, like gesturing for him to catch me. Cod piece, have you watched this group? There are no diplomacy checks with this group. You have a fear that one day a merchant may come along and just steal Ujala when he's that small and try <laughs> and give him as a gift to his child. Because <clears throat> he's just, he's adorable. Nahala right. thinks in her head, what if I give Ujala to Martha? Maybe she'll finally love me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, are you going to traffic me? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Some wear elephant trafficking? Yeah, I'm going to bite you. That's that's my goal. I'm going to bite everyone by the time we're done with this. I'm going to spread the curse. <laughs> Usmala. I love it. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I jump into Breston's arms. Okay. Or er, Boris. <laughs> Boris. 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 Boris, sorry. Boris is I arms. great. I create a net with the mustache to catch. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I realize that I'm about to have a giant elephant land on me. <laughs> so, well, I am pretty heavy yet, but I'm a baby. With uh, Breston uh, being back now, um, you saw little little elephant man, um, Ujala, sneak past you, Breston, went back the yeah. other way, saw something ahead of you, and was noped out of there real quick. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the picture should be up for you, I think, of the creatures that are uh, in front of him. Do I recognize what those are? Uh, you know what? Do a recall knowledge. Sure. Uh, for nature. Let's go with nature. They don't pass yeah. the vibe check. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 15? Yeah, uh, you yeah. know these as uh, Zulgoths. They are um, kind of reptilian creatures, mostly found underground. Uh, they usually live and are found in uh, large like family groups. Uh, they're very uh, territorial and will purposely pick fights with other ones to try to take over territory. Okay. Okay. And are they medium? Like, are they the size of everybody else? Or Yeah, they are um, medium size. And currently, they're all... Uh, it seemed like one of them was cooking. And they start fighting over a piece of meat. Like, one, once it's done, uh, one of them swings a club at the, like, the other one's hand to try to snatch it away. And it, it kind of causes the three of them to be in fighting. Can I do it then? Yeah, of course. I want to create a visual effect with figment. Nice. Um, I want it to look like one of them uh, is holding a dagger. So it's not just like the idea is to make them think that, oh, they're they're oh, actually going to fight fight for this food to the <laughs> death for it. I like it. Um yeah, go ahead and cast Figment. Sure. Uh, would you like me to target one specific one to see <laughs> what happens? Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's an effect for it, but no, there is, isn't there? Um, I believe there's a rule, I think. Um, let's see if I read it. Uh, da, da, da. doesn't say on this so it might we'll see what happens when i cast it go okay. because <clears throat> it doesn't say on path builder so i will just go ahead and target that and cast uh figment all right a simple illusory sound or vision a sound adds the auditory trait to the spell and the sound can't include intelligible words or elaborate music uh a vision as a visual trait can be no longer than a five foot cube and is clearly cr- Rude and undetailed if viewed within 15 feet. Uh, let's see, when you cast or sustain the spell, you can attempt to create a diversion with the illusion, gaining a plus two circumstance bonus to your deception check. If the attempt fails against a creature, that creature disbelieves the figment. <clears throat> so yeah, um, 
you want to create a diversion and kind of make them look over, make another one look over at the one you're uh, targeting uh, to see the dagger. Or yeah, as they begin to fight, it's almost like as as they're starting to throw punches and tussle, then one grab, it make it look like one's like, all right, I got a dagger out now. Who wants to fuck with me? Yeah, perfect. Go ahead and uh, target which one you want. Oh, you did. Uh, I did the one in the middle. Cool. Mm-hmm. We'll create a diversion. Go and click on that. <clears throat> this handy thing about Foundry is it'll pop up all this and tell you. Uh, attempt a single deception check and compare it to the perception DCs of the creatures whose attention you're trying to divert. So just make a single deception check and they will have the same uh, DCs. Okay. Um, deception. 16 total. All right. So you cast your figment and... Mm-hmm. Let's see. We'll go over to the effect. These two are under the effect of figment. They suddenly see uh, their friend. It looks like they're holding a dagger. Uh, Also, read up a little bit more on sustaining spells. You have to use an action every time to sustain it. So you can keep the spell going for 10 minutes. Uh, so long as you spend an action each round to keep it going. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, let's see. So you attempt to create a diversion with the illusion, gain plus two strength stat bonus to the exception check. So yeah, you you would have it an 18 total. It beats their uh, 16. So yeah, they both look over. They see the middle one holding uh, the dagger, and they both whip up their clubs and are getting ready to smash shit out of each other. Uh, well, let's, um, I'll let you do... Uh, one other thing, since you've created the diversion, or you can have uh, all back to the party, maybe, or you can do one other action since their attention is all kind of solely on themselves. They have no idea that you guys are there or that um, Ujala was there. I think uh, Bresson just kind of wants to work on maintaining that figment, and he just kind of is hoping that they just end up beating the ever-living shit out of each other. Okay. So he's staying put, trying to stay nice and quiet, just kind of moving his, uh, moving his hands um, slowly um, above his hair holes, trying to mimic the sound of the, of the, the wind that's just kind of going through the cave normally to, to use that sound to help create the illusion. Perfect. All right, so uh, the rest of the party, what are you guys doing back here? I'll come out of my form. Okay. Once we get, once I get down, and tell him what I what I saw. As he's telling me all about this, um, I like to keep my mustache out and listen for any changes in sound or anything particular. Make sure breasts is okay. Mm-hmm. Wait, uh, I'm sorry. That- Seeing Ujala's token just <laughs> yeah, it's, I just grow up expanded. It's, everybody, it's funny. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm it's like it. a, it's like one massive throne. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. And yeah. uh, what do you? I'm sorry. What, what what did you say? I like I heard you and didn't register it. Oh, I just want to listen out and make sure the uh, Preston's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing like you hear some strange noises, like uh, some like thuds and wax. Uh, you don't hear anything for that, that would concern you at all. But then you hear the kind of uh, ocarina sounds that you're used to Breston doing, and they're very subtly blending in with like the sounds of the cave. Uh, the only reason you'd even recognize is because you've heard him do it like as many as so many times on this adventure. mm Hmm. It sounds like Brestian's cooking something up. Oh. Let's wait and see what happens potentially. Yeah. Uh, Martha, Nohava, what are you guys doing? 
Martha? I just... It, you don't think it's going to be like last time when he cast that illusion and then he immediately got speared in the face, do you? I hope not. It is possible. He's like my brother. Maybe I should go go check on him. Well, we can go check on him together. Um, I feel like we're just causing more harm than good. I thought we were going to fight a dragon. And she'll... Yes. Eh, eh. Yeah, inner, try and jump inner, out the ledge. In her monologue <laughs> I, before Martha walks the, away. The ladder is still there. I would have left the ladder. <laughs> yeah, the ladder is still there. Yeah. Go with the ladder. <laughs> she goes out the ladder. She was just, just jumping. Yeah, she was just slipping on the rungs of the ladder. That's all. It's it's it, she, you know, she's <laughs> she's wet from walking through all the water. Uh, and what's your inner monologue? Wow. <laughs> Martha Senpai was standing so close to me. Our fingers almost touched. I better follow her. <laughs> Yuck. Perfect. There we go. Hand holding. Hands when my hands are so wet. <laughs> yep. Sobbing. Hold your hand, walrus. <laughs> mm-hmm. B- B- Brest- Breston. Breston. I-, 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 I heard you fingering your holes. What- what's going on? Watch. And he's kind of like motioning with his eyeball that's not fully in its socket. It's kind of moving in the direction for you to to kind of look bet- between the gaps and the and the rocks. Yeah, Martha can see. Oh God, no! I'm, I'm breaking things. She can see between the pillar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, break, break it off. <laughs> I love it. All right, you got it. You got it. You got it. Perfect. Yeah, so you can see through there. Yep. Yeah, so you see um, at least two of these things, I think is what you can see. Uh, you see two of them. Uh, one, you, you can kind of recognize uh, Breston's magic, making it look like the middle one is holding a dagger. Uh, the other one, the one that you can see down here, looks like it's about to club the one in the middle. Uh, it looks like they're just as far as you can tell, uh, fighting over a piece of meat. We're going to make a quick little strikey strike. That one. There we go. Make a quick little strike. That's a OK. Uh, crits nice. the middle one uh, oh with boy. a club. Perfect. Mm hmm. Good job, Preston. Uh, dealing 14 damage to it. Very oh nice. God. Damn. All right. Uh, I didn't want to do this. Solid clunk across the top of the head. Did you see that one real? Um, Preston, you notice the, the swing and the uh, the middle one kind of fumbling through. Uh, it, it passes through your illusion, but... I think the illusion stays, right? Yeah, I, th- yeah. I think as long as I'm staying concentrated on it, it's it's still good. Yeah, the illusion stays, and the attacking creature doesn't notice it. So focused on just whacking the shit out of this one in the middle that uh, doesn't doesn't even notice it. So what he's still seeing is that middle one is holding a dagger. It reacted. It it kind of moves away from the illusion for a second before the the illusion catches back up to it, but. Mm-hmm. Um, does not notice the kind of weird lag behind the, the creature moving and your traveling gotcha. vision. All right. So I'm going to put you guys all in combat now. And uh, you and, you can... and real quick before the combat. Yeah. Um, a, as soon as um, the, the whacking happens, I, I look up uh, to Martha and, and um, I'm using my fingers, except for the two that could possibly be the pinkies. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, uh, yeah. no, mother, no, I have a me to keep my pinkies up. <laughs> Perfect. Quite high society. <laughs> so now we're doing um, an initiative. You need- yeah, we are. You go ahead and roll. <laughs> Zay Joe, welcome in. I'm going to get a one. Nope. This game is cheating. This game 
game is cheating. <laughs> Why is that? Because I rolled a four. <laughs> uh, let's see, I have... It looked like a lot of dice, but not all of the... Four. I have my token selected, but I don't show up on the list. Good okay. lord, that one got a... Oh, oh, oh that, I see what happened. Uh, we had some regular perception checks in there. We need uh, initiative perception because for some reason... Uh, well, that's probably what the, happened. Yeah, the way the module organized thing, not my favorite. But it's handy. Got it. That. All mm. right, I think we have everybody. One, two, three, four. We're still missing somebody. We miss Martha. What did I do? You need... Oh, I didn't click... Initiative. I did do initiative. You did. chose me on. Did you? No, I'm just an idiot. Ignore me. <laughs> All good. There's the four. There. Who called four? <laughs> oh, someone called a four. All right. Walrus. <laughs> yeah. A card counting time. <laughs> there we go. You have three Zolgoths uh, in a cave. Um, you know, one of which has gotten whacked for a pretty decent amount of damage already. Um, this first one is going to go, and this is the, uh, uh, one. Yeah. All right. It's this one's turn. And to make sure I had the right one. Um, yeah. One on the right. Uh, after whacking the shit out of its body in the middle there, he gets a little, uh, uh, cry of excitement, uh, raises up the club, and is going to swing again. Uh, oh, I didn't have a target, but I'm pretty sure 24 hits. Uh, let's see. Yeah, sure does. It's another crit, by the way. Oh my yes. god. This thing is just going ham. Uh, yeah, 18 damage. Love to see it. She just clubs it with the opposite way in caves the middle one's face in. Uh, does a quick little cheer with his uh, his club up in the air. Oh, he's shaking his uh, club back and forth up in the air. And then he snatches the piece of meat out of the fallen one's hands. Um, <laughs> the top one gives a weird kind of quizzical look as the dead one appears to still be holding a dagger. Uh, like arm still upright as it was before. Yeah, I can't drop that unless it's my turn, can I? I not I sure. would if I could. But I don't know exactly how that uh I would say it probably has to be on your turn, yeah. We'll go with that yeah. until uh until we find out otherwise, but you can look between turns sure. and let me know. Um, I mean, I, I don't see anything that that truly states. So my guess is it's probably in the actual rules, rules, yeah, of things, and I don't have that in front of me. Okay, um, so your call, man, your call. Yeah, I'll say on your turn. So the pigment still stays up for now. Um, this one, so it's done the action, takes the meat, and it's um, trying to move away from the other one. It's going to go over here uh, behind this this rock over this way. Uh, you can hear smacking sounds as it spends the rest of its turn snacking down on the meat that it just got. Meat. No Hava. You hear a couple uh, whacks, like heavy thuds uh, from some kind of weapon. Uh, you hear a guttural a cry as uh, the second hit lands. Uh, you hear uh, like a whoop of elation as... as Sounds like another creature won a fight. And uh, then you can hear, like, throughout the uh, cave, like, the, the echoing smacking of lips. Oh, no. Martha. Preston. I'm going to climb up my beautiful ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This ladder that's gotten so much legitimate use. <laughs> MVP item. It is. It really yeah, is. It, it truly is. Mar Martha. What's happening? Did my mic they pick up my seem... whispers? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes. They, okay. They seem to be murdering each other in the highest of society ways. Shows her oh. pinky besides Breston. <laughs> With a club? 
can I... Oh. Well, no, because I didn't see them attack one another. I was going to see if I could, like, use my stratagem stuff to try to figure out a weak point or something, but I guess I'll just hold and wait while... Uh, well, you don't have to necessarily see them attack each other. If you can see them, uh, you can decide what you want to do. Devise a stratagem? Yeah. And wait, that, is that the one I want, or is it... Wait, wait, uh, I can keep going. I can yeah. do it again. I can do it again. You assess a foe's weakness in combat. Use them to formulate a plan of attack against your enemy. So your um, your current character sheet is not going to show the right version of this. So it's changed for you a little bit. I, I sent mm-hmm. you the newer version yeah. of what it does. So I'll, I'll let you know that you can still do your devise a stratagem. So you're still going to roll your d20. Okay. Or actually, yeah, there you go. Whoa. Oh, Automatic zoom in. So, uh, I, I think I hit the wrong thing. What did I do? There we go. All right. So your device stratagem is a 12. Okay. So uh, what your device stratagem lets you do, uh, and you can choose between... A combat stratagem or a skill stratagem? Hmm. A combat stratagem, you will use your rolled 12 on your next attack roll. A skilled stratagem uh, means you cannot strike the target until the start of your next turn, so you can't make an attack at all. You gain a plus one circumstance bonus to your next intelligence, wisdom, or charisma based skill check or perception check involving the target before the start of your next turn. If you would gain your pursue a lead investigation bonus on such a check, the bonus is increased by one instead. But you also have some more fancy stuff in there. Uh, you have uh, known weaknesses. And whenever you devise a stratagem, you can also attempt a check to recall knowledge as part of that action. So this is just a free thing that you get. So you can recall knowledge if you'd like. It's just a nature check. Nature check. Yep. Okay. Your character has a lot going on, but it's a lot of cool stuff that can add up. Nature, where be nature? Mm-mm-mm. Under skills. Nature. That's. All right, so that is not going to pass. You're not going to come up with anything else there, but you still have your stratagem. So that was one action for the stratagem. Mm. You know, kind of looks like the infinity sign, just upright. Maybe she got rolled in infinity, you know? Oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty good roll if it's infinity. There you go. Uh... I don't really want to do anything. I don't want to mess with what Breston's doing. Um, so I, I can't do known weaknesses until I actually get the devise a stratagem. Is that right? No, no. You have devise stratagem. Um, your recall knowledge check failed, so you don't get the, the known weaknesses. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, I, so. I don't want to mess up Breston. I'm just going to stay here for now. All right, you can ready an action. Uh, do you have a ranged weapon? I don't think you do, though, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you took two melee weapons instead of a range. That's right. Yes. <laughs> uh, you have movement. You can sneak. Um, or you can... You can ready a uh, melee attack in case something comes running up here. Just just to do something with your... Yeah, I'll, I'll ready a... My hammer. Okay. That works. All right. Then we will go to Boris. Boris. Hmm. Hmm. Cactus Lushy Friendo. It's hiding in a wall. Yes. I have become one with a wall. I quickly dart my eyes towards Ujala, seeing that Breston's cooking something up ahead. My eyes lock eyes with Ujala. 
and I I extend my mustache out as a flat palmed hand, and then I extend my other hand, uh, part of my mustache as a fist, and I say, "Want to do a round?" Oh my god! Um, Rock paper scissors. You had me at uh, Ujala, brother. Yes, I'm in. All right. I'm, I'm going to start rock, paper, scissors on your turn. We will determine um, what we roll. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, Nohava got a, uh, a hero point. I thought Boris for a second was just living out, whipping out a line of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> My son just throws it down. It's like, what do you keep in that mustache? We got good stuff in Boristan. <laughs> <laughs> At the Boristan white. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah. So, what do you say you're going to do this at the start of Ujala's turn? Yes, we're going to play rock paper scissors as we are waiting for. We don't. We kind of hear them whispering, and we hear the magic being casted, and we kind of think that Breston's probably doing something. Yeah. So I'm just going to challenge him to see who's the the better um, creature. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, then we'll go back up here to this guy. And um, this one's going to make a perception check. He, he caught the the funkiness with the um, uh, words, uh, the figment, the illusion. We're going to see, uh, whoops, I need to do that. Perception thing just throws me off every single time. Why they would put it in with the rest of it. Uh, okay. So he, he sees the illusion and he kind of pokes his club out at the arm. He waves his club around through there. Uh, <laughs> grunts at it, sticks his hand in it. Yeah, he's nice. 100% positive that that thing is not actually there. Yeah. Uh, it, it looks suspicious and it is going to start looking around at things. Um, I need, let's see, I gotta look something up real fast. Uh, I hope he's really dumb and can't see much. I don't know why, but I just keep imagining he puts his hand through it, tries to grab it, can he's like, I'm starting to think this might not be real. <laughs> <laughs> or he's like, am I, am I dead? <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs> Oh my god, he hit me so hard I died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So that was one action for the original perception check. This is another action to do uh, seek. It is going to use a seek action to try to find anybody that it doesn't know is there. Sneaky, sneaky. Right. And then I got to check some uh, things here. Okay. And over here. <laughs> Alright. It crawls up on this ledge and starts sniffing the air. Uh, you don't know how in the world it could get a whiff of something with this awful stench hanging out. But it, it's on it's onto something. It's just kind of sniffing, like leaning around the corner. So it's used uh Perception check on the illusion, perception check to seek, and then a move action. So that's all all three actions for it. Ujala. Damn. Okay. Yeah. I would also like to climb the ladder. Wait, rock, paper, scissors first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How do we play rock, paper, scissors? Uh, higher D20. Higher D20? There you go. Yeah. Okay. I'll have you know, Ujala, I have never lost a game in my life. You're about to lose. <laughs> oh, that was supposed to be a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Boris's uh, uh, streak still stands. Ha, six, you know, nine. Help, help <laughs> amazing. Uh, nice. The bromance boy is getting nice. 69. Yeah. The bromance boy is getting 69, yeah. So that means you're a top and I go next. <laughs> yes. 
Okay. <laughs> Can I, do I have permission to climb the ladder, please? <laughs> I climbed the ladder. <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. I'm just, okay. Just you, you I'm just, I'm I, no, I, no, I bought him fair and square. I'm scared of David. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to say, I thought we were not going to engage. We're going to go after the dragon. What are we doing? And then how much more movement do I have? Uh, I think it's a 10 foot climb up the ladder. Okay. So you move. Were you here? Yeah, so 10, 15, 20. You have... Actually, I want to check something real fast. I think Barbarians in the remaster got five more feet. Ooh. Okay. It's real fast, like. So everybody, everybody's slowly getting a little bit of buffs and upgrades and things. So the, the remaster stuff is coming out. Okay. I call shenanigans. <laughs> uh, you got you got a buff and upgrade too. Uh, Lady Martha gets a hero point. Loop. Thank you, Buford. Hi. I don't deserve one of those. Uh, Lady Martha is a hero. The greatest of us all, honestly. Well, if I can move to here. Okay. I'll use an action to throw a javelin at this mate here. Right. And here comes my javelin, and this is going to be thrown. All right, so you get a surprise, a surprise javelin on this guy. <laughs> Bomb back over and check his AC. Yeah. Yeah, that hits for sure. Nice. Okay, so I throw it. It's a nine damage. Oh, shit. Damn, takes nine damage. Okay, is he still alive? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I will use... Uh... I'll use my last action to raise shield. Perfect. And that's it for me. Preston. You can hear yeah. this creature uh, coming up. Yeah. Heard him coming through. Then I saw you, Jala. Um, at that point, I knew that... Um, things weren't going to go the way I had wanted them to. Mm -hmm. So... I'm probably just going to use one action to drop the illusion. Okay. Um, I guess there's not really a reason to have it there. Hey, and then you got two crits out of that illusion, so it was pretty good. Yeah, it was a good, very good use of the illusion. Um, I'm pretty happy with those results. So now I'm going to do. Uh, the haunting him. Yeah, go ahead and cast it. Right. Or is it haunted him? Or I think of the wrong one. Why is that? Yeah, void warp. Sorry, I'm going void warp. Warp on him. Yeah. Um. So he'll have to make a DC uh, seventeen fortitude. All right, basic fortitude save. Mm -hmm. uh, and he fails. Nice. I'll go ahead and roll damage. All right. So what is the what is the haunting him that he? Hears? Uh yeah. So I changed the tune uh, just a little bit. So I kind of just pick up the sound of the wind and a little with the slight echo of the dragon roar um because i'm uh, i think Bresson would think it even would echo this far out um and it just kind of looks like it, those notes kind of come out of his mouth 
and his one eye socket and the notes take a uh, arcane like form um, that are, are glowing green and purple as they go into his ears. Perfect. Yeah, he, he uh, here's your your haunting to well, not your haunting. It's your void warp. My bad. Uh, here's your yeah. void damage. All right. Uh, I got I got mixed up there. Um, yeah, sorry. No, you're good. Uh, here's the notes that you're playing in. Yeah. Uh, as your notes pierce the ears on him, uh, he starts like slamming, uh, slamming his hands against his ears. Uh, he seems to have scrambled his brains a little bit, but uh, <laughs> a bit of a damage there. Uh, he's yeah. looking a, a little bit rough between covering his ears and uh, the javelin sticking out of his side. Nice. Um, that's going to be all my actions. Okay. So we'll move that on. one's dead. And then uh, Lady Martha. It's your turn. Martha. Yeah, she's at a disadvantage right now. Um, everything's <laughs> gone to shit, so she's going to move up to, 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 to here. What is it to move when you have it like this? Is it shift? Enter? Oh, uh, space. Thank you. So 5 to 15, 20. Attempted to close the wall. There we go. It's that pillar. So you can still slide over there. The wall was just getting in the way. Yeah. Uh, then she's going to use another action to equip her crossbow. Oh. She has to. So I forgot you were sickened. So um, enough time has passed since you've been in here. I'll give you a, a free check to get rid of sickened. Um, so go ahead and make a uh, fortitude. Uh, spend an action to wretch. Yeah, yeah. That's a flat check, I believe. Oh, flat. Okay, two twenty. Oh. I don't Damn. think that's gonna do it. We'll go okay. fast. There, so you can spend a single action wrenching an attempt to recover. Let's just immediately attempt a fortitude save against the DC. The fact that made you sick and on a success, you reduce your sick value by one. So, nope. That's a fail. Alright, uh, go ahead with your turn now. Sorry. I'm just giving you a chance. No, nope, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I, I equip my hand crossbow. Mm -hmm. And there we go. And I'm going to shoot at this guy. Target him. Nice. That's a crit. Oh, dang. Damn. Yeah. Oh, you have panache, though. I don't. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, did you do the crit damage? Yes, okay. I thought I did. Calamari, Calamari's on the menu tonight, boys. <gasps> oh, so would I click double? I think it. Uh, if you clicked critical... Yeah, oh. I clicked critical. Oh, yeah, so. so it says two times 1d6, so yeah, it's just a low roll. Yes, yep, it was. Per perfect, yep, no, that's it. And uh, that is the end of her turn. Uh, a move and a shoot? Or did you do two moves? Yes. Uh, move, I had to draw my crossbow. And oh, right. Shoot. Right, right. Does so that add your bonus to it? It does not. Do you have any? Oh, gotcha, my bad. Yep. A little bit different. All right, this warrior uh, down here. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna make a flat check. See if if dude over here is uh, just gonna continue uh, enjoying smacking his meat, or if uh, no, no, he's just <laughs> he's gonna hang out Did over you here. Just point to you, Jala. <laughs> What's he <laughs> smacking his meat to? Does he have a picture of something on the wall? Oh no, he's you know he did beat. He's smacking his meat over there. <laughs> he's making macaroni. Uh, no, no, that's a different sound entirely. This is a, I mean, that's huh? what it sounded like. This is some, <laughs> some ripping and smacking. How about that? Hmm. <laughs> I was so trying to make that gross. <laughs> yeah, that's gross enough. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't need any help. <laughs> Just fine. No hava. Just ripping and, and chopping his meat. Ripping smack. Oh. Oh, there she is. I was like, I can't even find her. <laughs> She's okay. hiding in the wall. 
A boo! And I would like to hit him with my hammer. Okay. Do you want to do your device stratagem again? Or are you just going straight I, for the hammer? I do, but I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. I'm scared to use it. Uh, you can try it. You can see how it works out. I think you've... Have you only used it fully a single time so far? I usually don't roll high enough. Yeah, the rolls are always so low. So it goes to your next one. Um, check. Uh, you strike the chosen creature for the start of next turn. You must use the result of the d20 uh, roll for your strikes attack roll instead of rolling. You make that substitution only for the first strike you make against the creature this round, not any subsequent ones. When you make the substitution, you can add your intelligence modifier to your attack roll instead of your strength or dexterity modifier, provided you strike with an agile or finesse melee weapon, which your hammer is neither. Uh, I feel like that's part of the problem. I don't think either of yours are. <laughs> Stash. Let's see, you have no weapon familiarity? Let's see if that does something for you. Uh, you can access the cookies, all items with the gnome traits. The purpose of proficiency, you treat any of these uh, martial weapons as simple weapons and any that are advanced weapons, martial weapons, fifth level, you get to that. Yeah, no, so none of that helps you. So yeah, you can just make a regular uh, strike with it. Okay. Probably your best bet. All right. Oh, wait, did I use it already? No, oh, wait, okay. I think you click the the name of it Target. instead of the strike button. Target. Mm, nice, the nat Ooh. twenty from Nohava. Damn, fatty natty. That's two nat twenties tonight. There we go. All right, hit hit that critical button. Good. How Nohava needs a win. This is what we've needed. All right. Murder. Eight. <laughs> what is this? Piercing, bludgeoning. Eight bludgeoning damage. Murder. Mm. No, Hava, how do you kill it? I want to. How tall is this thing? Oh, uh, <laughs> probably six foot tall. Oh, oh he's big. <laughs> All right, I was going to aim for the throat, but I'll just go for the crotch. Yes, of course. Make it as descriptive as you would oh. like, Andy. <laughs> no, it's, it's, this is all you. James, thank you. <laughs> <Somebody> <laughs> Man, that's a, that's a <laughs> lot of bits for a crit. Thank you, sir. Very much appreciated. <laughs> I'll sweep up and pin his balls up against his stomach. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's good investigating. Good job. <laughs> you I think I found his weakness. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. <laughs> that's so oh, good. That just worked. <laughs> <laughs> what case does this remind you of, Nohava? That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, character. This reminds me of case number. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I can't say that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can. You can no, always. No, I, I, I don't trust my. Um, <laughs> Let's hear it. What do you got? I, I, I may have used this one a long time ago. This reminds me of case number 237. Cock Tracy's dick in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Was this a uh, was, was Mr. Tracy down in the down in the well? In the well? Uh-huh. Cock I don't get it. Dick in the hole. He was wherever you wanted to be, Andy. Okay. Oh. I meant his dick into his own hole because oh. it's his belly button. Okay. See, my brain thinks of stupid shit that doesn't make any sense <laughs> okay. to anyone else. <laughs> I mean, I got it. I understand. I messed it up. I, I just didn't see where that was going. Yeah. No, no, I... No, yeah, I I'm dumb. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good clip. Thank that's you, Mom. That is a good I'm clip. I'm going to hydrate from Jim. Wet yourself. Oh, God. Thanks. I will. Thanks, God. Uh, okay. Test the tubes. <laughs> Sorry, I read that wrong. 
Uh, let's see, that was a move, that was a crit. You have another action, Nohavo. Do I see the other goober? Uh, nope. You you hear something eating uh, mouth sounds down, down this way. Oh. Martha, should we kill it or keep going? Uh, um, personally, the last two, you shot it so thoroughly in the nutters that I, I feel <laughs> another good cross shot should take the other one down. All right, I will... Wait, how much did I move? Well, this works a little bit differently, so you don't get to use the rest of your movement. It's just mm-hmm. uh, your action to move wherever you want within your range, and then it's done. Yeah, I'm going to move to here and just kind of wait if it comes out okay. towards anybody. But she's going to tell everyone, listen, guys. Pin the dick to the belly button. It's an instant kill, I swear. <laughs> okay. This is a, a horrible new party game. Pin the dick to the belly button. Preston takes notes. <laughs> In her Bodies. monologue. Uh-oh. Maybe I really am a good investigator. <laughs> <laughs> that face when you said that, the face on your token is perfect. <laughs> I got it all figured out. <laughs> okay, boys, you are up. I'm going to take my movement. Mm-hmm. All I'm probably going to take all three actions to move behind here. And as I around the corner, I said, "Hey, guys, I brought the chips." And as as, as I round the corner, I see this poor creature. It's it's testy. He's probably in its stomach at this point. Uh, yeah, that's actually only uh, two move actions, by the way. Get to where you're at. Oh, really? Yep. Um, technically, I will take... you'd have five more for your second action. I would like to. Can I look at these little blue things here? Seeing that there's no danger around me. Those are their crushed testicles. Oh. No, uh, those are mushrooms. Like you guys found. Uh, previously, like, way back in the first session of this. Um, just some of the mushrooms, I think, uh, somebody turned their nose up at them, I remember. Ujala, probably. You know, have a banana after no have a <laughs> This I don't have a banana, so I take them. <laughs> <laughs> Add them to my collection. <laughs> oh no! God, that's some like serial killer stuff right there. And maybe you're the criminal they've been looking for all along. Are those your bookmarks <laughs> and all your case files? They are. Oh, what if no. he has two personalities, and like one detective is trying to find out the other, the serial killer? And it's just the same person. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I thought of something like that with Dora actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boris, uh, third action. Oh, third action? Oh, there's that. Oh, I see this guy? You can, I think you can just, yeah, you can just barely see him. Oh, well, I have nothing I can do, so I'm going to... I used to have five more movement? Yeah, from that second okay. action. All right, then I'm going to raise shield in front of my friends to protect. Okay. Cool. And I end my turn. All right, Ujala. Okay. So this uh, drop, how how far down is it? I think it's just a, a little five foot drop. Well, I'm gonna make a little five foot drop. Okay. Let's do. Well, let's just a uh, let's just a hop down for you. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna move up. Can I reach him? Oh, can I reach this guy? Reach around. Not where you there. Now you can. Reach around. Okay. Good. It looks like his head is sticking out like a like a golf ball on a tee. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I no. see where this is going. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to rage. Okay. Perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I'm angry at him. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to earth break his head. I love, love that, that effect. effect. Yes. Yeah. It's <laughs> one of the best effects. Ah, uh, that's Does a twenty hit. Ooh. Big old hit. Ooh. Yep. Is it a critical or a regular hit? It's a regular hit. Okay. Um, well, here comes the damage. Nice. 14. Ooh. All right. 
That is a big chunk of damage. Uh, he l- looks up as you walk over, and you smash him in the face with your hammer. Uh, you see teeth go flying. You see the side of his cheek cave in. Uh, immediately puts a hand up to his, its face. It's uh, quite mangled <laughs> now, but he's still yeah. alive. I'm going to say, show me your balls. <laughs> and wow. That's it for me. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's part of my next move. I just learned <laughs> okay. it. He's using a stratagem. <laughs> I got you. I, I said a stratagem for everyone. We have, we have two investigators in this party. Right. Um, he is good at solving puzzles. <laughs> it, yes. it says something unintelligible, even more unintelligible since its face is broken. But yes. Uh, uh, turn that frown upside down. <laughs> sideways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Brusted. Yeah. You were up. Um, 10, where are we? Um, 10, 15, 20, 25. Brusted, I'll, I'll give you a little option here. Since you're a little guy, and yeah. uh, since you're a creepy little guy, you don't have to go all the way around if you don't want to. Uh, I would let Brusted squeeze oh. between for just a, an extra five feet, like one one square of different okay. terrain there. So if I can I see no, that's probably not It'd enough be, space. But if I if I go twenty five, yeah, that's twenty five where you're at. If I go here then I think twenty five would be there for you. I can go thirty. Oh nice. Then yeah that's thirty. Mm. From one action. Uh, yeah, that's 30. I still can't see him. Well, how, how, how much were you going to give me for going through the, the crack? I could just go through there. The crack would be uh, 10 feet just to get through there. And yeah, no matter what, either, no matter which way I go, it's still the same spot. If you just need sight on him, um, Yeah. Would that give me sight? If, okay. you, if you can see him, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to uh, go ahead and target him. Mm-hmm. And then kind of the same thing as I did to the other guy. Um, same type of noises as I try to do a void warp on him. Okay. Yeah, he fails this one hard. Sweet. I will go ahead and roll the damage. Okay. Five. And five. All right. Your song reaches out to him. Uh, he's clearly like clutching at his broken face, and you see like the the song hit him dead on. <laughs> you see, it, like throws his head back. He's. Um, Ujala would see his eyes kind of roll in the back of his head like he's like severe amounts of pain and uh, there's something going on in his head that it doesn't quite understand. Yeah, this thing is quite fucked up. Nice. Uh, that's all my actions. Okay. So nice. We're good. Martha. Uh, Martha is going to move over to here. Okay. Uh, hello, Preston. Uh, reload and then try and shoot this man in the face. Perfect. Uh, that'll hit. Oh, geez. Uh, I'm surprised. <laughs> Two points of damage. Hurt you? Uh, yeah, that's enough. Um, how do you kill the last of these things? Oh, boo, 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 boo. So as she does, uh, Nohava taught her how to do this. So she rolls up aside breast and <laughs> uh, pulling back the crossbow, putting another dart inside. She's like, I learned this one from Miss Nohava. It goes right towards its groin, <laughs> fires, and you just see with one of, the, one of his things go. <laughs> I, I didn't hear the sound effect. I think we missed the sound effect. Yeah, God the damn Discord it, yeah, we missed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a pop. Oh, <laughs> nice. oh, I heard it that time. <laughs> yeah, I heard it that time. No bueno. <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah. Uh, eyes further cross. They're, they're already rolled back in its head. Uh, one hand on its face, one hand drops to his crotch. It just falls over dead and tumbles down a little lip here. Na, 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 na. Exactly. <laughs> All right, good job. The guys. crotch slayers. <laughs> I do the usual as my rage is expiring. I drop down on top of them and I just do some jumping jacks. <laughs> and eventually the rage <laughs> leaves me. Some elephant jumping jacks. It's perfect. I love it. Uh, <sighs> grapes into wine. Oh, I'm ready for the dragon. This is a good warm up. Oh, I don't think we're ready for the dragon. <laughs> we're not ready for the dragon. Gotta go this way now. Let's go. Wait, no, the dragon is this way. What? No, we're not. We're not ready for the dragon. We gotta go this way. No, Preston, we are ready. The sooner we, the sooner we get rid of the dragon, the sooner we can be out of this uh, child sex dungeon. The, uh, the 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 fire. We're not ready for the fire yet, so we're gonna have to like. You know, uh, we we need to prepare. So I'm gonna sneak down here, see what's down there. Why don't you guys see if these guys have anything, uh, Preston, you know, useful? Preston, or, no. what? Preston, what? You're not you're not afraid of the dragon, are you? Oh no no no! See, I have a sword, and it means I'm a hero. So I'm gonna go now. Wait, no no, you can you can come with me. We can yes. be together. We'll, we'll yes. fight the dragon one on one. Correct. Mono Imono. Dances Here, for life. Have a cucumber. And I pull a cucumber out of my trunk. Here. <laughs> trunk. What's that? It's food. Pocket Good. cucumber. It's pocket cucumber. He takes Amazing. the cucumber, looks at it, and he's like, Why is that wiggling? <laughs> it's you gotta be cool like this cucumber. Damn it, monk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which is room temperature because it's been in my trunk, but still, come on. <laughs> Are you gonna eat the cucumber or not? I I don't think I can eat this. Okay, give it back. And I stick my trunk out and I open the hole. Yeah, and it goes. I, you hear it? I, stu- I stuff it in the trunk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna move uh, over here, and can I perceive if there's any tunnels or draft or mushrooms or anything coming from? The dragon lair? Uh nothing from the way that that um you recognized before. Uh well you were down there talking to Preston though. That tunnel down there stinks horridly. Like even worse than the uh when you first came up into this room. That tunnel that Brennan's Breston is standing by is it's just an awful, awful stench. Yeah, Preston, we don't want to go that way. It stinks. What do you mean? I can't smell. Oh. Wait, it stinks? That means there's more things to poison to get the dragon. Preston, we're in it together. It's going to be fine. Come on up, ease. Uh-huh. Come on, uppies. Oh, Uppies. Well, that's resist. a pretty convincing argument. You can't uppies. resist. Uppies. Okay. I got him. Let's go. And I put Breston on top of my head. Excellent. So yeah, there's Breston, the, the, the poppet, is kind of hanging down over Shala's head as they wander away. So uh, where are you guys heading off to? I say we head back towards the north route. And confront the dragon in its lair. Oh God! Let's put an end to this. this. Is why we came down here. We might die. No, Hava. <laughs> no, Hava. Can I? Can I say something to you before we go fight this dragon and maybe meet our untimely end? Yes. I need you to know, deep, deep down in my heart, we will forever be friends. Just oh. friends. But oh. good, good friends. Oh, no. <laughs> I love the character break at the end. <laughs> in, her, in, her, in her monologue. Wow. Good friends? Does that mean it could be something more one day? Nothing ever more. 
but a really good friend <laughs> nonetheless. He doesn't hear your inner monologue, or she she doesn't hear your inner monologue, but she says that in a perfect time. In her monologue, I really do think it could be more. I never, just need to ever. Swoon her. <laughs> I'm sure you read this in a case once, right? <laughs> I'm just being such a dick to Grim. I'm sorry. The case of restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> the case of the adventurous restraining order, yes. Not the first the case one. The case of Martha's last I mean, I So I have to ask. The case of we, Yohav's last missing love. Um, before we, we move on here, would uh, you guys like to do two things? Uh, would Boris like to try using his fancy new healer's toolkit? patch up any wounds oh i would love to let's see let's take a look at the party once they all get here uh where is everybody i'm in the dark we went all the way around towards the dragon let me so get to this to my old person, friend. The, i think the person with the light left her <laughs> oh she wanders oh, sorry she, she's oh, back i'm in the wrong hole i'm in the wrong she hole <laughs> <is all> the <laughs> Back oh, at the oh, elemental room. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Great play sounds. Oh, who reminded her of that? Minus one in, uh, uh, hero point. Was that Walrus? Who did that? I don't know. David what did that? David. <laughs> David. Yeah. He's losing hero points left and right tonight. He's, he's David's bleeding. my partner in crime. You leave him be. <laughs> okay. There's the fountain of piss. That makes everybody have to pee. Nice. Quickly, right. I hear it. You must go past it faster. Speaking <laughs> of pee, earlier. <laughs> of course. When it was one of David's turns and I had to pee really bad and I was like, shit, I gotta go pee. I, I can't hold it. And I ran mm -hmm. and I tripped on the cat and I was thinking, oh God, it's David's turn. And I was like, damn it, David. And I yelled David at the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I don't know why I shared that. I saw, I saw it. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I thought it was going to end with, I fell on the cat and peed. Yeah, I thought it was going to go a little different direction, but she's the master of misdirection. <laughs> All right. Um, I assume I just roll a medicine check on my party members. Yeah, it's uh, treat wounds is what you are trying to do here. Um, so let's see if I can do Well, something. see, uh, first thing I do is I look at Bereston mm -hmm. since he looks the worst. He's not traditionally flesh and bone, so I can't really suture him. So I go over to the broken table that Ojala destroyed earlier, and I'm going to use my mustache to kind of stitch some of the, the wood table onto his body. I like it. Uh, so shivs. on your, your yeah. HUD, under the actions, uh, treat wounds should show up there now. So you have treat to target wounds. him and then uh, yes. click that action. Just to make sure it's under which one again, sir? Uh, under actions. You click your token, Actions. and then the okay. HUD pops up. Actions, treat wounds. Treat wounds. Understood. Understood. I'm going to find it. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. All right. This looks good. Let's see. Requirements. You spend 10 minutes. Target's immune. Oh, yeah, just a medicine check. Never mind. I thought oh, okay. that would actually roll it for you, but it did not. Oh, no, here we go. I just didn't click. Ah, pretty good stuff. Nice. All right. So it rolls the healing along with it. So, Preston. Whoops. <laughs> take take my health away. Take my away. I was thinking the same stuff. <laughs> so you're just like tying like tying bits of wood to Preston's. Yeah, I'm kind of like using up. my little mustache to hammer little pieces of wood into you. And when you like do that. that, you see, like, after that, you see um, these, um, they, they look like spider legs made of splinters just burst out from uh, the edges of where you nailed those new pieces of ch chunks of wood. And they wrap around that wood and then just slowly, like, eerily meld the, the new wood to my old wood. Wow, my... Boris just looks at you and he's like, wow, that is the most terrifying thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> uh, that, that's because of mom. <sighs> yeah, okay. Not... I look at um, Madame Rapp 
Let's see. Madam Rat. Oh, no, I'm she perfectly looks, fine. I, I, no, 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 looks, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, Madam mm. Rat is fine. Madam Rat, okay. Ojala, you look pretty healthy. Thank All you. Right. No, Hava's had one too many nosebleeds. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what we can do for her. Let's see. Actions. Treat wounds. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Jesus. That was a critical success. So you treat uh, oh. 13 HP. Good yeah. God almighty. So go ahead. Uh, Good golly, Hava, Molly. And hit that apply That's... healing button. Good Lord. Boris uh, takes out. Boris uh, looks at you for a second. And he snips some of your clothes off, and you kind of get offended at first. And he stuffs the uh, bit of cloth he took up your nose. <laughs> and so that should reduce bleeding for the next uh, uh, 24 hours. <gasps> That's a good idea for other holes that bleed. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this general tampon living up to her What's name. Wrong? <laughs> In her monologue. You think I'll call it Did a I tampon? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to when you say inner monologue you have to give me like uh, a full second or two and i'll zoom in on you for your inner monologue okay <laughs> she's doing it too fast i can't i can't zoom in you on want her to, you want me to want to redo that no you're good <laughs> you're fine <laughs> all right and then one last person to take care of Yourself. i'm gonna attempt surgery on myself yeah let's see Bok bok. <laughs> Wait, let me hold the stethoscope. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Wait, that is not your trunk. Oh no. <laughs> heart rate is abnormal. <gasps> I don't have heart. I don't know how oh. I, my heart is. A... <laughs> oh. So I don't know what I'm doing. I said there's a, a a couple things you might want to do. One of them being healing. The the other one. How about a mid session level up? We're <gasps> finally clearing the. Dungeon, mostly. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> mostly. Cleared the dungeon. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. You will next right. time. So you, you've cleared everything uh, leading up to, well, the thing that some of you are dragging your feet for. So uh, we can take a quick break. Uh, level up your characters. I think everybody had their, their level two planned, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. let's take a quick break. <laughs> And I'll have you guys level up in Foundry uh, on our quick break. And then we'll, we'll pick back up here and see what, what we... If, this, uh, if you are going up against the dragon. Sound good? Yes. Oh. All right. Yes. Chats, everybody. Chat, we will see you <clears throat> hopefully in about five minutes. We'll be right back. Tell us where you're afraid of. We're back. That took longer than five minutes, but we're good. Uh, we had some choices to make for leveling up. Everybody's level two now. I think everybody's good. Hooray! Yes. Uh, there were important decisions to be made, but we're back. So uh, <laughs> there's a few amusing plans floating around. Uh, we'll see if they put any of them in motion. Yeah, you guys are free to move down here, so you can go wherever. And yeah, they are level two murder hobos now. <laughs> okay, so if uh, if if I were hanging out in my house and someone rolled a barrel into my home, I don't think I would eat what's in the barrel. But if you're hungry enough, maybe. Or if it smells good enough. Yeah, Ooh. a barrel of peanuts would be great right now. See? <laughs> See if I rolled peanuts right now to you, would you eat? Peanuts and cucumber. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm starting to understand this. So this but then but then this is where the part where you enact your part of the plan where you go full savage mode on him and you do your suplex, whatever you do. How much time do I wait before the barrel rolls and I fly? Ooh, good point. Um wait till you hear the sound in the hip again, you know? <laughs> Oh, that was crazy magic stuff. Don't know I how don't that happened. Rush. I'm just kidding. But um, I think what we should do is wait till it eats. When it starts getting sick, we begin uh, attacking. When it's getting sick, they'll give uh, Martha, Brestin, and Nohava time to uh, flank. And then me and you, we'll take the front line. 
Okay. But I need to boost one of your damages. Who should I do? Lady Martha or Yul Jala? The whale moustache is very potent, but I can only use it once. Uh, well, you normally say kiss like men, and I, well, I am a refined lady, so I think it best <laughs> go to Ujala. Hmm. <laughs> Ujala, are you in agreement with this? Yeah, sounds great. Excellent. I will boost your damage tenfold. I take the boost and love it. Well, not yet. I can't do that just yet. We have to wait till moment. <laughs> I will give you a slap on the bomb and then you attack. It was I just like that. Straight. He's teasing. Boris is edging you. Boris is doing no such thing. <laughs> <laughs> is he right. doing a little tickling with the stash? <laughs> yeah, a little mustache ride. Yep. Yeah, a little but bit. Beyond this plan, is there anything anyone else wants to do? When do I, I throw open? Preston? No, 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 no. Um, I, actually, if if I can make a humble request, yes, Lady Ma, uh, if we if we could leave Preston near the the flank at at all possible, if anything, Preston is, is quite uh, adept at uh, confusion in in long range uh, chicanery or magical effects. So, oh, um, uh, what if we left Preston in the rear, and then uh, when things start to go off, if we call in Preston and. And really, if we could avoid as much as possible, needing uh, your assistance, Preston. Yeah, just put me in the rear. Just, I'll be right in your rear. Okay. Yes, you and you and uh, Boris uh, together. You'll you'll be uh, rear buddies. Hmm. Every good plan needs a name. Hmm. Boris kind of puts his mustache on his uh, little pot. We will call this mm. sex, sex bomb. Operation sex bomb. Yes. <laughs> sex bomb. Is this the sex? Is this what we're about to do? Is we're Operation about to sex. sex. Cool. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now we're going to have sex. With the dragon. Oh, no. With a dragon. We're dragon. I have about to nuts. have sex with the dragon. These Thank nuts. you, Danny, for the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, Excuse you, my language. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect timing for raids, uh, as usual, as, as what so, happens in raids here. Raids here. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Preston. Yeah. When we go back up top, make sure that the innkeeper and all of her patrons are well aware that her sending you back down here caused your small, frail body to have sex so many times while we were down here. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I got really burnt up. I had rashes. Right, for the, the rat. Pounding. So many. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Very bad. Like, my soft parts. And he, like, pokes at his stomach. Had a couple <laughs> new holes. I ripped, no, I ripped no holes in me. Uh, okay. <laughs> I like that Boris oh. is slowly creeping away. Okay. Um, so so uh, that's it. Uh, uh, we all hide from... From Hob who's rolling the barrel into the, uh, the dragon's barrel? I will do barrel since it was my idea. It's only Are you fair. sure you got the nine um, to my six. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I should do it. Ojala, you could probably throw it a little bit further than me. It'd probably be safe. I will accompany you though and make sure nothing. If 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 something kicks off, I'm going to go ahead and give you that that special boost. It's it's like an enhancement, really. Magic enhancements. I reach out to Boris. Sorry. Yes. I, I do the 21 pilots handshake. Comrades. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you oh. draw, wait, wait, wait. Real quick. I gotta ask. Yes, yes. What is it? Do you have any lettuce leaves? Or do you have, like, berries? Do you have those two? I have an apple. I have my flesh. I have Dear. a cucumber. <laughs> I need I need a little leaf or something. Some oh. leaves to go with the berries. Mm. I, I pull I... off a, a petal from the top of my head and I offer <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, and then I need a bear, like a berry. <laughs> I don't have I, any I think berries. I lost my ball. Uh, I'll take the <laughs> apple. Okay, here's th an apple for you. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Uh, 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 Boris, roll a flat check. 
I think Nohava smashed all the berries in this uh, this place. Yeah, she she really did. <laughs> Let's see. A flat check. D20? Mm-hmm. Huh? Okay. This is very threatening. I do not like. No. Oh, no. Nope. You're lucky this was just for something goofy. But no. What happened? Natural one. <laughs> nothing happens? No, nothing happens. I don't. I don't combust. No, no, flames. no. It, it was just for something goofy. You're safe. Oh, okay, okay. Preston no. is uh, trying to make something with the 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 leaf you gave him, uh, Boris, and the Are you apple a side salad. Uh, no, I'm trying to make something that looks like a mistletoe, oh. and then I I give it to Nohava. <laughs> oh, and I say. Hold this over, Martha, and then then you get to kiss her because that's what people do. Okay, I'm gonna go now. That's perfect because she said she just wants to be friends. <laughs> 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 I think that means something more. <laughs> no. Wait, did you hear that? What? Did you not hear the beast further in? Oh, you guys can't see, can you? Was there a sound and I didn't hear it? Sounds like it's I heard. It, She might not have been able to hear it because she's far enough away from it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, In her monologue. Give me the barrel. In All right, dear. Here we go. Monologue. Yeah, yeah, I got okay. you. And oh my God. I'm Did rolling. they hear me fart? <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> I am rolling the barrel, yes? Okay. Okay. Um, wait for it. No. Oh. Well, mm. how would you like no me to whimmies, roll? No what would you stuff? like me to do? I would like uh. you to make an athletics check to roll this in here. But I will tell you that uh, when you go in and take a good look at this room, uh, you see a towering yellow mushroom or t- towering yellow mushrooms covering the floor of a vast cave. Uh, some reaching over ten feet in height. They seem to emit a pale light, giving the entire chamber an eerie glow. Shattered remnants of barrels torn open with their contents, nowhere to be seen, lay scattered around the base of the mushrooms. Somewhere off on the far side of the chamber, something stirs, and a faint snarl comes from the shadows. <clears throat> you see, uh, Ujala, the faint shadows? Uh, through the, the eerie light and the, the kind of spory mist up here, um, you, you see something pass up this way. Hey, mommy's home. Let's be careful. And then I'm going to Donkey Kong Country, throw a barrel. <laughs> to roll. And here I can comes, hear the music. Yeah, here comes the roll. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a dirty 20. It is a Hell dirty yeah. 20. Okay. Your barrel, uh, DK style, land over here. Okay. I'm going to go pick it up. <laughs> that wasn't far enough. Uh, you're throwing no, no, a barrel no, full no, of no, fish. No, oh, no. no. Uh oh. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> I did say no, no. no. <laughs> he did. She did. She it needs to go over here. Pants. It needs. I need to throw it further. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> this is not the plan. This this was not the plan you guys had. This, this is, is best plan. Make. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Make a. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I was. Yeah, Rev. Rev. I. I was going to but i want to give him a chance to at least get his barrel first so you know what i'm just gonna have you guys do uh do uh, opposing flat checks is all because i want to see i really want to see this plan go off so just a a d20 no bonuses just a d20 from you a d20 from the dragon and we'll see what happens oh god oh no okay you make it over to the barrel and you huck it again Make your athletics yes. check. Okay. And then I'm going to be no. really, really quiet. 21. Oh. All right. He lets out a little, little trunk toot. 
as he throws it again. Uh, this time, uh, you get it right over in front of the dragon. That's where Perfect. you're trying to get it, right? Yes, and now I'm going to try to go back to the group. Okay. But you, you're not leaving anywhere yet. The dragon, okay. you'll watch it, 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 dare, it glares daggers at you. But you can see it sniff the air. Uh, the, the great, like, <sniffs> fills the cave. Uh, it looks down to the fish. It jumps down off the mushroom, smashes down on the barrel. You see the contents of the barrel scattering uh, all over the floor. It begins eating the fish all the while staring at you. You see, like, predatory eyes just glaring at you the whole time it eats. It, in no time, finishes the contents of the barrel, looks at you, and lets out a growl. So I look back at the group and I give them a thumbs up without opposable <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> oh, I, I do have opposable thumbs. Never mind. Here you go. So two thumbs up. Now we're in initiative. Well, we'll oh. see what happens oh, from the dragon boy. eating the fish. But we are in initiative at this point. Uh, the dragon is keenly aware of you. Is this elephant man like from his uh, from the little? Uh, tunnel entrance there <clears throat> throws his barrel in it hits the ground with a big thud then he just wanders in like oh, fuck I missed and throws it a little bit further and then tries to wander <laughs> back out <laughs> so uh, let me find let me find the tunes where to go some That's hydrates for everybody while I'm finding the tunes thank, thank you Jim you'll need dragon. to unpause the game so we can roll initiative oh my bad I got my ginger ale thank you Oh God, why do I hear boss music? Don't change it to epic music while I'm chugging a ginger ale. I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get your drinks. We'll so roll your initiatives. Hey, so hey, Andy, no can you get rid of this dead guy on top of me? <laughs> hey, Andy, can I do athletics for my initiative? Uh, based on what you're just doing, sure. Awesome. And you make an encounter so we can roll initiative. God damn. Yes, one thing at a time. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> can, can we not die? <laughs> uh, no. No. That one you're scared. We all die here. There we go. I need some good numbers. Yes, that's what I needed. Okay. I had a good backup plan, but it succeeded. <laughs> I wonder how long it takes to get poisoned, right? Like, a couple hours? Uh, it happened to, um... Um, Lady Martha pretty quickly, so I'm hoping the dose we gave it will make it uh, uh, go to the Brown Super Bowl, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> Love the, that. The Nuggets versus <laughs> the Browns. <laughs> the, 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 Browns. <laughs> the, the Brown Bay Packers. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be oh. packing too much left in his gut after <laughs> this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I, you said something last time gaming that made me laugh so hard still think about it is that you, we have to be careful of both sides of the dragon now yep <laughs> breath weapon and an ass weapon alright uh, Ujala uh, yes. amusingly yes, enough yes. you are up first yes okay I would <laughs> like to call upon the blessing of the wind mm-hmm and that's one of my actions. Okay. So does that give me movement or am I now flying and I need to use an action to move? Uh, it gives you 40 foot of movement speed. So it's your action to get it. Uh, I'll double check real fast. Well, it says right here actually. So I just use an action oh, yeah, to call on the blessing. Uh, and then by spending one action to call upon the wind, that hero can fly for their next action. Yeah. So my next action is going to be to rage. All right. Uh, and then my, yeah. Your neck. Oh, so your first action would be rage and then call on wind and then move. Yeah. If I have to do it that way. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. All right. It's rage. Okay. So the rage has begun. Excellent. Wait, I'm not big. There I am. Now I'm big. Okay. And then, um, so now I could fly up to it for my final action. Is that right? Yep. You have 40, 40 foot. How high up are you moving? How high up is it? Uh, is it on, it's on the ground. No, it's on the ground now. Yeah. 
I want to be 40 feet above it. Let's see if you have enough room. Uh, let's see. I will also say, read the ability fully. Yeah, you have to end your turn on something. Um, oh, I have to end it on solid ground. Oh, yeah. Well, I won't. Um, I'm going to not land. <laughs> I'm just going to be 40 feet above it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see what you're doing. I like it. Luchador, <clears throat> I told you. <laughs> yep. It's happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we'll say uh, the cavern is 20 feet high. I don't think it's 40. So okay. we'll say it's 20 feet. You are 20 yep. feet up in the air. Yes. Blah. Uh, I prefer the <laughs> I prefer that song to be playing in the background. That's fair. All okay, right. I'll, I want to fall on this thing. So you uh, spend an action to call on the wind, an action to fly over here, and an action to rage. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, he knows Rev. He's fully aware. Um, this was his intention all along. So he will plummet down to the ground, a regular Ujala missile. Uh, I have to go look for falling damage real fast. I just read it and I can't remember. I read it last night. It had nothing to do with you, but I read it yesterday. Uh, let's see. Fall feet, grim edge. Uh, if you take damage, uh, falling on a creature. There we go, because the designers plan on this happening. If you land on a creature, that creature must attempt a DC 15 reflex save. Uh, intentionally aiming yourself to land on a creature after a long fall is, is almost impossible. So let's roll the almost so you're impossible. there's a chance. I, I am. I'm going to slide you out of the way real quick so I can get to the dragon. Ujala has my um, my little uh, moment, momentum thing for uh, any, any uh, saving throws he has to make. Just... Almost impossible for this thing to fail. All right, 22. The dragon is going to step out of the way of the uh, <laughs> oh, meteor elephant here. <laughs> uh, you are going to immediately take 10 fall or 10 bludgeoning damage from the fall. Is that halved because I'm raging? Uh, no? I don't think. Yeah, you, okay. you, you don't take uh, half damage as a uh, uh, Pathfinder least... Barbarian. Nice try, though. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. A for effort for trying there. That was a great idea, though. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not embarrassed. It looked cool. Okay. Just spores <laughs> go everywhere. Just yeah. A big poof. Spores in the leftover fish. Uh, spores in trunks. <laughs> Ooh, fish. You never fall, you land prone. So you are prone now. <laughs> you're landing, Pass you're up, angry. Face down? Yes. <laughs> Face down, ass up. <laughs> yep. Bloop. There we go. I'm sure being prone and off guard to a dragon is going to be very, very beneficial to you. Just wait till my next turn. Yeah. <laughs> Preston. I did not want to be in the front of this. Um... Who <laughs> John Cena? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there isn't a way like in Starfinder I can readjust my initiative to be placed where I want, but then I'm stuck in that spot for the rest of the encounter. That's a good question. Uh, that's in Starfinder. I don't know if that's a thing here. Let's see. <laughs> Ready in action to hold your turn. You can hold your turn. Technically, that's what it's called in Starfinder, but then you unhold your turn at the point in the initiative where you want to start and be at in the initiative order. Okay. But I don't know if that's how it works in, in Pathfinder. You know what? For the sake of things, yeah, I'll say you can uh, swap your initiative. What, where would you like to be? I would like to go after the dragon. Okay. Uh, so I will just make you, uh, wait, 13, but between Martha and the dragon or after Martha too? Um, let's do after the dragon. Okay. All 
Alrighty, so uh, we'll go to Nohava then. Oh God. She was not prepared. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, do I have somewhat of cover here behind this shroom bowl? Yeah, if you stay there, you you would have a, a bit of cover. Um, hey, this one is just lesser cover. I want to devise a stratagem. <laughs> okay, you can devise a damn stratagem. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Actions. Devise a strategy. Do I have to target him or anything for that? Yep. Go ahead and target him. Okay. A target. Action. Devise a strategy. Oh, wait. Did I choose the wrong thing again? I think I did. Uh, No, you got it. Mm-hmm. But it didn't roll. There you go. Oh, okay. You just have to uh, target yourself when you're devising the stratagem and then hit the oh, apply okay. effect. All right, so you roll the 13. So you can either bank that 13 to use on your roll. Mm-hmm. And then, I see, we'll, we'll break this out a little bit. Uh, if you use that 13, you get to add your intelligence modifier if, let's see. No, provided you strike with an agile or finesse melee weapon, which you don't have. That's, that's the big problem is you... You took weapons that don't have the, the traits that work with your yeah. device stratagem. But you can still use the 13 to roll. And Does then, she still get her strength added to it, though? Yeah. Okay. So you still get a modifier, just not your highest one. Right. Well, she doesn't have a modifier of strength. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yep. The O. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, she has a gnome flick mace and a hooked hammer. Gnome hooked hammer. So she went for the like ancestry themed weapons, but not the ones that really work with her class. But they're so tiny, you would think they were finesse. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, before you decide to, um, you get to make your recall knowledge check on the dragon. And go ahead and roll nature for that. Nature. And because mm-hmm. this is your feet that you have, the no weaknesses thing. Yep. Nope. Uh, oh, maybe some targeting the dragon. That's what's going on. Okay. I'm target. Nature. Oh, so actually, yeah, you would have rolled the recall knowledge check first. So you you'd have this knowledge to know whether you wanted to use your bank die or not. Andy, why are you targeting her? Uh, Nohava? I see your little dot over her. It was for her device stratagem. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, you know there's a dragon in here that's going to target you guys, so it should be. Well, I feel like Nohava, Nohava has been the, the end of the, <laughs> the rough stick. All right, did you roll your nature check? It wouldn't let me. Uh, let me see what it said. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Is it because of the device stratagem? It's because I'm stupid. <sighs> okay. Oh, you, tr- you tried to roll it for an initiative, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, so no extra bonus there. So you, you just have your 13. So you can choose to use the 13 to... I mean, you're kind of far away from it. Yeah, I I think I'll wait. 35 feet away from the dragon right now. That All of what you just did was uh, well, an action, so you still have one, one more action. You moved, you devised stratagem, the recall knowledge check is part of your known weaknesses thing that works with devised stratagem. You still have mm-hmm. one more. Ooh... I, I think I'm going to wait and let people that can actually hit the stupid thing. <laughs> All right. No, that's fair. You can hold off. Uh, you can raise your shield. Okay. Is. Yeah. It you is have my turn. Raise your shield. Boris, what would you like to do? Uh, I look over to um, Lady Martha. Um, change of plan. Do you want me to bless you? 
Why the fuck do you have the friendly condition? <laughs> it would make sense in a second. motherfucking bodies. Okay, okay. From bodies, then. I mean, look at the stash. I mean, I, I didn't even know friendly was a damn condition he could have in the little <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> kind of creepy. So, does Lady Martha want to be blessed? If not, I'll enact my uh, plan D. Uh, Martha will definitely take it, yeah. All right, excellent. Well, this is what I'm looking at for. Let's see. Let me target you. And then so any any uh, damage you do, you get plus one to hit. And then all your damage dice are doubled. Let's, Let's see. Jesus. This is from... So, ah, okay. That makes more sense. And as I touch, um, as I go to imbue your weapon... Now, my mustache kind of goes ethereal for a second, pierces your chest, goes into your heart. Oh. And Boris says, for a warrior to be true, you must become one with your weapon. And you see that your your veins are kind of replaced by these kind of thorned vines, and they kind of trail all the way up your arm to your weapon. And oh. I would like you to flavor your weapon however you feel like your heart would um, manifest itself on your weapon for its uh, runic effect. Oh Damn. no. Martha's blade would become thorny with these black kind of ickery vines uh, and just these little uh, thorns on each of the vine wrapping around the blade with like little red tips at the end. Nice. So this Damn. is on your fighting fan, right? Yep. That's right. insane. Nice. Excellent. Oh. Now then, I will take my movement. And as I walk into the room, I take full movement. Okay. Um, can you do me a favor, Andy? Can you zoom in really closely as I walk into the room? Epic. Mm -hmm. Zoom in on me closer. Closer. Uh, that's it. That's as far as you're getting. Maximum, <laughs> as, maximum enhance. All right. I am no oh, longer no. friendly. <laughs> I am now unfriendly as I look at the dragon and I end my turn. Amazing. Oh my god. It's so cute though. Alright. He's finished so handing out his friendly stuff. Um, I mean the dramatic effect. It's so good. It is. I love it. Over I don't know why I only imagine Boris like erases his eyebrows from happy and then draws it yes. angry. Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Over Sharpie. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. We are at the dragon. Um, oh, no. We have an off guard prone opponent to this dragon. <laughs> no. Dragon has lots of options. But I think for a single target lying on the ground uh, no. it is going to spend its draconic frenzy. I raise a single fish with my trunk up to its face. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, it bites uh, your arm off. <laughs> draconic frenzy, it makes two claw strikes oh. and one tail strike in any order. So, oh, no. So the first claw strike. Oh, shoot. Got a target in. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> Three attacks for just two actions. That's a crit. No. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. What okay. The fuck? Is that the first Wait, hit? Isn't he sick yet? Isn't he sick? That's the first hit. Is okay. he sick yet? Hey, I'm still good. He, he's, he's, still good. he's not sick. Uh, did you take that damage? No, oh, God, there there goes his damage. <laughs> no. All right. The second claw strike misses. Oh, oh no! Oh my God! Serious. Oh no! Oh oh no! Twenty-eight damage. Okay, I'm oh. I'm unconscious. Mm hmm. Best, best laid do you still have your one. dick potion? <laughs> I do, yes. <laughs> uh, I just got a terrible mental image. Dick potion? 
I got yeah, I imagine him sucking in his own penis like a pacifier and sucking out the potion. <laughs> I don't know why. Wow. <laughs> uh, accurate. The Maggie Simpson sound. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the trunk and the other trunk fit together like a uh, like a garden hose, like the, the docking station. <laughs> no, yeah, like, like oh, a docking, oh, like a USB port. Uh, the the, the, trap. the blue the blue <laughs> aliens. Yes. He still has one more attack. The Avatar Blue <laughs> Alien guys. <laughs> Did he eat oh, the fish? God, at least? Touch chips. Uh, that's not the right one. I really the, my one complaint about the, the foundry buttons is it doesn't label things. So I just have to click on each one until I find the damn tail. There we go. Don't worry, this is just a plus two. <laughs> it hits. For nine more damage. So oh, how, oh no. how do I take that if I'm already unconscious? So you failed I say. don't think I have had a player take this much damage all at once. Uh, so I'm you are a die one. You take damage. I see. Uh, you're healing. Someone nudges you. Perception check. Uh, that's on. Yes, he goes dying too, right? You're dying before you die. You're knocked out. Uh, just reject before the creature. You gain dying one or two damage coming from a critical hit or a critical fit. So you were dying two because you went down from a crit. So that's okay. Gotta put you at dying two. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, you're there already. Oh. Don't worry, we'll be dying too soon. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you reverse, uh... Oh yeah, so that, that is a good point. Uh, your... What was it? I do have hero points, yes. Yeah, you could use all the hero points when you on that crit to go to zero and stabilize yourself from going to dying two. When would I do that? Uh, immediately when you took that. Okay. I had to burn all three? Yep, it's all of your remaining hero points. I'll do it. Alright. Let's uh let's empty his hero point or reservoir. And then I go to dying zero? Yep, you get rid of all the dying, except for the tail slap. Oh shit. Shit. Does it just knock you up a dying? Is that what it is when you're unconscious? Uh, the thing is failing me at the moment. Non-lethal effect makes you unconscious. Oh, Lady Mustela gave me a hero point. I have one. Thank all right. you. All right, so then we'll knock you back up to dying one. I'd say all in all, that's uh, not bad for taking two crits and then some damage while you're knocked out. Can I use the hero point I just received to <laughs> go back to dying zero? I'll allow zero it. Dying? <gasps> oh my gosh. I'll allow it. Okay. The game. The ga game is rigged. Let's do this. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So you should be at zero hero points. Yeah. I'm I mean, it's a, it's a hefty cost, so I'll, I'll allow it. All right. Four <clears throat> hero points. Yes. To make it to turn two. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Mustella is going to have emptied oh, yeah. all of her hero game. points. Or all of her, uh, whoops, all of her uh, uh, channel points don't, on keeping you guys alive. Don't do it. Don't do it, Lady <clears throat> Mustella. Okay. This is my fault. Uh, that was two actions, by the way. Uh, next action is going to be moving. Uh, speed... Yeah, it's going to take off into the air and land over here. All right, that's all three of its actions. Preston. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming uh, Preston just heard terrible trumpet noises. Uh, yeah, not triumphant um, noises. The like trumpet. A, Trumpet, like yeah. just from from a Ujala being stomped and slashed. <laughs> like a deflating just, balloon. Every time he gets stomped, <laughs> he makes another trumpet sound. <laughs> uh, okay, okay way manlier than that. Up. No, <laughs> all right. There's no manlier than what you everyone. just took. Too soon. <clears throat> uh, Martha, you see. Breston, and he is on all fours, very low to the ground, as low as he can for his spider running. 
and he just kind of looks at you um, and you can see he's he's shaking and he sounds you can hear the rattling and a shaking um, and he goes uh, to you I, I can't definitely can't let you die she cares too much for you and he's going to five ten if Preston walks in it's a big ass dragon for the first time <clears throat> so yeah no Preston uh, and I go over here and then can I see the dragon behind this mushroom uh yeah all right here we go what you got going with the phase bolt all right, turn to dragon. attack. Yep, I'm gonna try. Let's see what this fucker's AC is. It's higher than that, but Breston yeah. is a hero. I he is a hero, so I'm definitely going to reroll using hero point. <laughs> oh my oh. fucking god! This is such bullshit. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Okay. Breasted is uh, awestruck by this this dragon. First time he's ever Absolutely. seen one. Hard, yeah. hard to focus. Oh, yeah. Martha, <laughs> you are not sickened anymore. <laughs> um, no, hooray. Uh, Martha, hearing what Breston said, is slightly confused, but he assumes that I'm mean, too important to her means his mom. So her? he is going to put his foot, uh, well, th- their foot up against the wall and push off against okay. uh, going to rush at the creature for one action. Uh, can I tumble through? You sure can. Okay. So can using my movement, I will try and do a tumble through. And this is against its reflex? Yes. Yeah, so it would be my acrobatic check against its reflex. Uh, uh, so let me target this thing. Oh, would, would Martha like to be a hero? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Where did all of our natural oh, oh, go? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, oh, this, same. this is, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, no, so she does not tumble through. And in fact, okay. her movement is stopped just before the dragon. Yeah, perfect. So I will move myself back, which is fine. I just want the panache. I'm going to use my second attack, though, to use my new... I'm going to call it the Vine Whip Fan on this creature. Okay. Bougie. So demure. Jesus. Oh. Uh, Hero point? Yeah. I guess. Might as well, right? Yep. No holding back. Oh, god damn. Bullshit. This is... What the people. hell? This is uh, then she'll look up the thing and with her last action, she'll go, your fight is with me, you green scaled booby. And she will cast shield on herself. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> uh, are you still rocking uh, the Bon Mott? I don't have the Bon Mott yet. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have given you panache for that. No, um, I do have Bond Mod, but I, it's, it's literally a thing I have to do an action with. Uh, okay, okay, I got you. Um, yeah, uh, Bond Mod, what is it? You yeah. launch an insightful quip at a foe, distract them, choose a foe within 30 feet. Yeah, it's an ability. Okay. Yeah, I would have given it to you for that one. That was that was good. All right, back up to the top. Ujala's <laughs> face down Hi. and hurting. Uh, you don't have to make recovery checks because uh, the hero point has saved your vacants, but you uh, can't do anything until someone goes and gives you some healing. Okay. No haba. Oh boy. I can't decide if I should try to hit the mother effer. Get to Java. Um... Let me look something real quick. 
Oke, okay, action. Um, can I It takes an a- action to use elemental aid for the uh Let me look. The thing that we got Oh, yeah, yeah. What was it called? You have the flying one and the extra damage one. The melee strike one, yeah. Yep. I would like to use the melee. Okay, go ahead. Um, how do I activate that? Do I just click this here? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, so you call upon the action. Uh, so I'll just add two. If it doesn't automatically go, I'll okay. add two. Okay. And I'ma go fur, 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 and hit him. All right, so one action to move, one action to call on your elemental aid. So we'll get rid of that. And then go ahead and make your attack roll. Okay. I'ma use my hammer. And I aim for any possible balls, which I know they aren't there, but still. All right. Shit, Would you like to try to be hero, a hero? Hero! 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my Gosh, god. Darn it. Oh, what the, the hell is up with these this dice? This is wrong. This is <laughs> We're meant to die. Mm. This is wrong. The karma is coming back and uh, having its way with you after how you treated Tamily. <laughs> Welcome Jesus. in, Manny Hack. Uh, first time chat gets oh, to witness so, a TPK, maybe. So this it. is her dragon. Oh, it all makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, yeah. It's like case number 55. The problem with kleptomaniacs. They take things literally. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Thank I guess you for I'm the just, but, uh, Ooh, I think... So they make them 69? Ooh. Oh, wait. nice. No, that I was, think I went too far. No, you have to go back. See. That was all three of your actions. That was... Uh, oh, that was all three? Yeah, okay. you, you called your elemental aid thing. Uh, oop, 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 oop. You moved and then you attacked. Yeah, yeah we appreciate the follow. Um, Thank you. Well, this is your first time watching the, the channel. And yeah, you get to see a, a fun dragon fight at the end of the module here. So, yeah, Boris, you are up. Unfriendly, right. Boris. This is all a part of the plan. Let's see. Boris is like inside his head. It's like, oh, no, this is falling apart really quickly. <laughs> all right. You're within 30 feet of me, buddy. Falling quickly. I get what you said there. Let's see. Yeah, exactly 30. This situation has become critical. Okay. Uh, Ujala, you are healed for 13 points. Oops. I was supposed to press that. <laughs> you pun. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad uh, I muted. I cackled. <laughs> As you are brought back to life, I began thinking, what can we do to um, unscrew us from this situation? <sighs> Boris has to take hit. Boris will take hit. <laughs> no! Come fight me like man, tiny baby dragon. You look like sand <laughs> gecko. <laughs> Do right, you have turn. insurance? <laughs> I love the healer <laughs> waiting in to fight this dragon and uh, yeah, being being frontline all of a sudden. The dragon goes. Um, oh, I want to see something for the dragon real fast. He is going to. If anyone has reactive strike, now is the time to use it, but I don't think any of you do. Uh, he's going to fly down here. Uh, look at oh, all. Oh no. Lick its lips, and it is going to cast Poison Breath. And On who? All of you. All of us. <gasps> you all grouped up on oh, a that, dragon. That titty dragon. Why did you guys do that? 
<laughs> I'm a close range yeah. fighter. This is true. Oh, this is even gonna hit me. It's yeah, it's a it's a big old blast. So dragon, you hear a uh, a big old inhale. Uh, oh, only two actions to do, so it can move and use its breath. Uh, you'll hear a big inhale. You'll hear the exhale and the spewing of the breath. Uh, all of you guys make a basic reflex save, please. You should just be able to click the basic reflex save button in chat. I cast natural $20 bill towards DM. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's a reflex nat one. Chat. Yeah. I yeah, see I it. See I that see poison chat. breath, but I don't see a button to... Oh, yeah. no. You see uh, the... Do you see basic reflex save over there? Oh, wow. Nope. I only Where it says the poison breath in the text, you just see it says basic reflex in the text of the poison breath. I That's fucking my worst. God. How the fuck? <laughs> the oh. rolls are awful. Wait, can I use a hero point? Because I didn't roll natural one. You can. Yeah, you can. Oh, thank God. Watch oh. him roll a natural right. one. Yeah, if I roll natural one, I will probably just uh, Ten. leave. <laughs> oh! All right. How? Everyone, How? do we have two crit? F three? No, two crit fails. Yeah. All right. Damn it, man. Dragon, uh, like, Rev, are you over there laughing? I can hear Rev laughing across the country. Uh, yeah, he is. Whoa! Take 20 poison damage. <laughs> cool. cool. And then oh. it can't use its poison breath again for Jeez. four rounds. Wait, it got me too, right? Yeah. You have to hit the damage button where it. Uh, Hey, DM, Actually, how many rounds before I can reduce Oh, again? I see it. Oh, I can reduce it by five. Actually, hang on, because uh, the people that crit failed a basic reflex save might have some bad news coming. Hey, well, we just don't, oh. don't give it to us. Mm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I don't see the prop. Is there I, a I reset button? Did we <laughs> save right before we started this fight? <laughs> Quick, unplug the machine! <laughs> Yeah. On, on Quick, blow on it. No, wait, wrong console. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw the box at the wall. All right. <laughs> on a critical pharaoh, you take double the listed damage from the effect. No. Who crit oh, I'm failed? Dead. Yeah, we're all dead. dead. Is no, that I'm the only one who crit failed, I think. No, nope, I did too. I did. Oh, yeah, all, three of us did. All, yeah. all except uh, No Hava. Yeah, oh. yeah. Boris, Preston, and oh. Martha all crit. I'm going to shield block for five of this damage, so I only take 15 more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. Okay. Which doesn't help me because I only had 10 left. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay. So who, Nohava and Ujala are the only ones up. Nohava coughs some blood. What's the plan? That's, What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? Stupid lady. We told her to get the authorities down here. <laughs> uh, Breston. Uh, did Breston crit fail? Yeah, he did. All right. Breston is at dying. You? Yep. Uh, I need you to make a recovery check. A DC 12. Um, is that just a straight? Yeah, it's just a flat check. Because uh, you don't have any more hero points, correct? Or no, you have one. So you can spend yours to... Um, uh, you can roll first and then spend it if you want. It's up to you. I'll, I'll roll first. Let's see if I keep it. All right, this so this would, out long. this would knock your dying down by one. All right, and then Martha, same thing. And what was it a roll of? Uh, you were at dying two, so it is yeah. a flat check DC 12. 
Oh, I'm gonna fail so hard. You got this? You got this? No, I don't. I told you, uh, fail so hard. You, know, you would go up to dying three, unless you want to spend the hero points that you don't have. My my zero? Yes, I would love to spend my zero to dying <laughs> yeah. four. So yeah. let's, go, let's go straight to dying four with that. Zero, okay. Or dying three. He's, he's going no, I'm to already dying. at dying three. Oh, no. This is dying three, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which was you dying one? So I'm gonna put you up to three. And I have an inner monologue moment. Oh yeah, hang on. <laughs> inner monologue. Zoom Go. in. <laughs> Martha's dead as the breath comes and the second wave of poison rush over meals. I could have eaten so many more good things. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was her true voice. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes me so happy. And sad. Cute. Okay. Chat, chat, they're hurting. Does anyone have any more hero points? Oh, wait. Don't uh, save me. I deserve to die. I saw one come in. Uh, Don't you dare, Martha. <laughs> Jamie gave Martha one. There we go. Never really? trust digital dice. All right. Uh, we've got. We just did Martha. Top of the round. Ujala, you are up. You, well, not up, up, but you are healed. You're conscious. Um, Mm -hmm. It takes, Mm -hmm. I believe, two actions to stand. No, one action. One action. Oh, phew. One action to stand. I stand. Okay. I run to Comrade. And I inject him with a... Oh no! Not the tru- the secondary trunk. Which one? Yeah. The, the oh, no. Elixir of no. Life Suppository. Yes. The hot trunk Damn injection. Damn it up it. From trunk to butt. From trunk to butt. <laughs> All right, you got to use I that. Click it. Yep. Okay. 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 Nice. Oh. Ooh. So, Suppository and, heal. <laughs> how how soon can I rage again? Uh, it takes an action, right? So this was well, all. It says I can rage once a minute. So are these six second rounds? Ten rounds? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that what it is in Pathfinder? I believe so. Okay. I'm trying to find your. Either way, it's not going to happen anytime soon. So don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, you have at least one round while I look it up. Yeah, yeah. Rev says yeah. Uh, that's that's my turn. Then I moved. I got up, or I got up, I moved, and I gave you. Okay. Boris, Boris, uh, you have to get up. Do the Boris stand Kung Fu. <laughs> and then I pull my trunk out, and I wait for his eyes to open. <laughs> <laughs> so personal. <laughs> <laughs> but it, <laughs> you're alive. <laughs> We're <laughs> not about to be alive. <laughs> I'm not laughing. No, he's gonna I, die of, again. Out of character, I'm laughing because it's just hilarious. He's gonna die again <laughs> with that knowledge of what happened. Uh, okay. No, Hava, you are also dying too. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20. Uh, you're trying to beat a 12. Meter beat a 12. Meter beat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Meter hard to know. Oh, it rolled back and forth on a 19. So, Nohava, you have one hero point. You would be going up to dying three, or you can spend your hero point to stabilize. Wait, no. Never Nohava's mind. up. I, I forgot. Never mind. Never mind. I'm I sorry. I was like, why am I dying? <laughs> I just thought. No, I don't, I don't blame okay. you, DM. I don't blame you. Nah, it's all good. I thought all of you got You're up there. Oh, I'm sorry about all that. Right, never so- mind. It's your, your whole turn. Okay. Um, Ujala, Boris, yes. can you get the other two out? Yes, I can. Okay. Don't worry about me. No. You guys, you guys have given me more than I could have ever asked for. And she's going to flip open her book. Case number one. Why is it when I am sad or bored, my hair turns white? And now I'm going to write in my last case. My friends have kept me alive. 
and now I want to do that for them. And so she's going to run up to the dragon. And I'm looking for his cloaca. Yeah, of course you are. Yes. Boris, what's a cloaca? Oh, oh my body is in so much pain. <laughs> okay, you're right. We'll talk about it later. Uh, so what, I, you are on top of this dragon? What, what are you doing? With no, the- I'm underneath. I'm looking for the butthole. Yeah, what are you trying to do? I want to climb into it and punch it with my earth fist that I've got. <laughs> oh, I think the earth fist only lasted the, the, the one round. Oh, the it's only turn. one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, how about... Can I use... Oh, <gasps> This is the design. Can I damage to this dragon? No. Sorry, sorry. Okay, that's what I thought. Hey, Andy. Yeah. Would you say this is like a ladder-sized butthole? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, that might be stretching it. Uh, 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 round of applause, everybody. It's a medium creature. <laughs> um, bigger than most all of you, except for maybe Ujala, but it is, uh, it's still medium. Wait, what'd you say about my bow? <laughs> the, the creature. <laughs> oh. uh, it has a similar size uh, pooper. Cool. All right, can I hold my hammer and steady it to the dragon's butthole and then use the uh, elemental aid of um, uh, the, the fly speed one that goes 40 feet? <laughs> <laughs> as long as you land right. on your feet. All right, all right, all right. I'll let you try this, but you need to make a, uh, a tumble through check to try to get through the dragon. It's not going to be easy because it's, it's got a pretty yeah, good roll. reflex save. It's a pretty <laughs> serious fight, guys. <laughs> So tumble through is an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So at no not attribute skills acrobatics. Yep. Oh god, that was the one that I was negative in and just took a thing and please twenty. Mm, Fuck! No. Wait, wait. Do I have a hero? Do I have a hero? You I can't do. I can't see. I'm you, in the dragon's butthole. I can't see. You, wait. You do have a hero point, but. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to spend it, but they're pretty much the only reason your party's alive at the moment. <laughs> What's what? Sorry, what'd you say? Your hero points are the only reason your party is alive. You can absolutely oh. spend it on this reroll if you want. I'm not telling you otherwise. Just saying that your hero points can stop you from taking the dying condition. Oh, OK. Hmm. All I heard was butt. <laughs> oh. Same. I heard butt. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> can can I just punch him in the butt? This. <laughs> uh yeah you so your tumble through check is going to stop you because you fit well here since you failed it. Uh so you moved you try to tumble through so yeah just try to hit it. Oh I wanted to ream him okay. <laughs> if you get a natural one, I will literally go into the bathroom and just pee into my own face because it's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> oh, dang. Can we roll? Nice. That's my These new ring. Dice time. rolls are just beyond. They are terrible. So, for the, for, for the attack suck. action, is it the minus one one? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's your first one. The first one? Okay. Yeah. So Walrus is basically like, you're overjoyed and you like being in your face or is it just like, no. All right, we have our first hit on the dragon. <laughs> what a <laughs> punch! <laughs> yes. What sound did it make, Andy? What sound did it make? <laughs> did, we, did we pop open this cake? <laughs> is he about to release? <laughs> no, go ahead, roll your damage. <laughs> damage! <laughs> you just go, ooh, ooh, senpai. <laughs> six damage to the dragon cloaca uh everyone that was looking at the dragon would see a very peculiar look cross its face as it takes a hammer to the asshole you have uh, to cough did they tell you to cough <laughs> new, new case i put the ache in cloaca <laughs> <laughs> guys run <laughs> get out of here <laughs> 
<laughs> Sleepy uh, continues the trend of people joining in at awfully inopportune times to this stream. Oh, no. We can explain. <laughs> we can explain, I promise. Uh, Boris, you are up. <gasps> By the way, Nohava, I am so sorry what I'm about to do. I'm very proud you hit it. I may undo <laughs> I, your work, though. I know exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> Y'all need to get out of here. Go, go, I have, Well, go. to save us, I have to do this. Oh, my God. I, without getting up, because I can't move unless I use all three actions to do this, I use my last spell of healing. I do a 30-foot radius healing everything. Yeah. Friend yeah. info, like. We like it. Yeah, I will uh, take that. And then just, we run. <laughs> Yes, we run. So let me just target everything. I just spit on my computer. I'm so like <laughs> shaky right now. It landed on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hit my cheek. <laughs> I mean, that was it. Love my it. immersion. <laughs> go ahead and cast your. Yeah, oh. there you go. <laughs> we gotta kill this woman that put us on this task. <laughs> no, guys, guys. We're down here in fear of the dragon. <laughs> Next time I'll fight the thing. I won't do what happened this time. <laughs> You say that like there might be a next time. <laughs> All right. All we gotta do is leave this room and it'll reset. I promise. <laughs> Heal yeah, everything. Rest at a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like you're a sea. Come on, give me a 10. Give me a 10. Yo, yeah, that's good. Nice. Everyone gets nine HP. Nice. Putting the dragon. <laughs> I'm no longer dead. And I, as I'm kind of still on the ground, I point my mustache towards the exit, making an arrow. And I say, <laughs> we must make tactical retreat. Run to the hills. All right. And I have my turn. <laughs> and now it's the dragon's turn. A medium sized prickly cactus in a dragon's ass. Yeah, the dragon okay, goes guys. next. Our yep. plan didn't work, so I'm going to do a Cthulhu instead of two. <laughs> Chama cactus up a cloaca. Y'all, if the dragon goes for me, go! Go! The, the dragon up. looks at the person that just smashed its asshole with a <laughs> hammer. <laughs> she Ringtone. winks at it. Mm. <laughs> you wink at the asshole. He winks back. I wink at the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm this, sorry. Are we going to hold hands now? <laughs> sorry. This dragon's going to hold your hand in its mouth. Uh... <laughs> It is going to reach down and try to bite the living shit out of you. But the fun part is I have to find out which attack is the bite first. That one. Fun fact, I never let go of the hammer. <laughs> Y'all, seriously, run. Run. We oh <gasps> my god. What is with this bullshit with this drag? Yeah. It has yeah. A, Guys, run. It run. It has a massive run. plus to hit. For me, it's not that. It's it's the dice. Yeah, <laughs> Andy's rolling beyond tens. We can't break ten. <laughs> Go ahead and take that sixteen damage, Nohava. Damage. She splashed. She's still up. She's Just still run. up. You Look need to run this. too. You need to run. I don't care. We I all will. Get I will. But I don't want you guys to put yourself in harm for me. If you do, I will be so mad. You want me to tell you? You're dead. You want me to tell you something <laughs> really, really bad? It's got two more attacks. She spits blood on the ground. Pfft. Spits blood from her asshole. Run! <laughs> oh. How do you know? So, what? Yeah. Uh, the the really bad thing is that when this dragon succeeds on uh, a strike with a critical hit, it replenishes its breath weapon. Cool beans. Yeah, the oh. breath weapon is a two well. action uh, breath weapon. Just do it. So, it. you guys, oh. I'm sorry, but. No! Nah, it's a reflex. A basic reflex save from all of you again. Oh, no. Would I be, would I magically fail, though, because I'm prone? That's a good question, but I'm going to guess yes. Oh. Okay, then I'm not even going to roll. I'll just. Yeah. So I critically fail then. Yeah, so we, we all take 40 damage again. Yeah. Uh, who all has to roll? Cool. Am cool, I in cool, that? cool, 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 cool. There. Yeah, people shifted around. That's why I was looking. All right. 
Uh, yeah, fuck it. Every, the whole party's in it. Wait, no. No, Hava not. Or, uh, Martha's not. Martha right. <laughs> Martha's not in it. Uh, okay. all right. Well, how is, is Martha not in it, but I'm in it? Yeah, I think you're you're facing it the wrong way, honestly. Because your, your start point is right here. The dragon is not there. Is it not on the square? No. Do you see it right there? I can see the little dot where yeah. it starts. Yeah. So both me and uh, are not in it. Me and Nohava are both missing it. No, Nohava should be taken. It's it's pointing straight up at Nohava. Then I would be in it too, then, if that was the case. No, look. Yeah, you face it towards her. God damn it. There. There we go. No, yeah, no I, I no, dropped no. the wrong thing. See? See the empty yeah. square? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying she's in an empty square too. She's not, though. No, she's not. She's in, oh, a, she's right. she's in a covered one. That's a it's weird way to do the time. The square and the oh, square okay. empty. Yeah. Was she uh, yeah, that's what I was wondering because she was, she was right there. That's why I'm saying she wasn't in yeah. it. Stop trying to kill her, Andy. <laughs> it pu She punched <laughs> it in the asshole. <laughs> what would your dragon do? <laughs> so, hey, are you the punch punch in the asshole? If you asshole put her back where she was, then you just rotate it. You're flat footed. You don't auto fail. Wait. All right. Thank you. I get a plus uh, one to saving throws against diseases and poison. Can I just roll for funsies? Yeah, yeah. You, oh, you don't auto fail. Well, we're going to fail. I swear to auto God. Fail. If you guys try to save me and get yourselves killed, I'm going to be super think, upset. I don't think they're going to have a, a an option to try to save you. No, All right. Not. Ujala Ujala's going to take half. Okay. I'm going to use a hero point. For what? Oh, wait. I need to add my fortitude to let me see yeah. or my uh, so that's 17 total. Uh, what were you? Uh, 17 total. Yes, yeah, so I have a plus four to. Um... Yeah, that's a fail. Um, I've got to escape and form the anal of angels. <laughs> <laughs> the anal of angels. Uh, Breston. <laughs> You still get a roll. It's I just it's roll. flat footed against it. Wait, how does flat footed work against a reflex save though? That doesn't make sense. Oh wait, Breston on my screen is still another cave. Oh no, he's up here. Oh shit. Uh sorry. Uh flat footed. Or off guard, god damn it. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, off guard only works against AC. What do you want? Reflex? Uh, reflex saving throw, yeah. You can click reflex save up there. Wait, I have a plus one, so that's 18 total. Does that succeed? No. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Probably um, a DC 21. Gotcha. Yeah, no point. Prone, crawl stand. You take cover. Yeah, I, yeah. Prone doesn't actually do anything to saving throws. So, uh, Ujala, you get a hero point. Wait. All right, damage time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Who curve? Hey. Crit failed. Get again. Failure. Cool. Hmm. Oh, okay. We didn't have any crit failures this time, though. No. Okay. So everyone takes seventeen damage. Uh, except, uh... I take 8? Do not take 8. Uh, DC's 24. I misspoke, I'm sorry. Okay, and how much was the total damage? 17? 17. Is that everybody? Martha, you're, you're not in it. Yeah, Martha, you're not. Oh. <laughs> you had 9 HP, I think, I gave you. Oh, yeah, I did. I had 9 HP, okay. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Love it. There you go, Martha. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, can I hero point? Yeah. And what does that do? Let me, it just says stops again. you from dying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, then you're at zero, but you are stabilized and don't have the dying condition. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Martha, run. 
And Martha run. Uh, who else went down? Uh, Boris. I'm down. Yes. Boris, you have a whole bunch of hero points. Would you like to spend them? We die like men. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yes, I would like to use them though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All of Boris's uh, hero points are gone. Nohava takes 17 damage. She is down. Black. Oh, did you get it? Okay, thank you. Yep. There we go. Um, that is everybody. Breasted. Give me a uh, recovery check, please. Rev, most of them didn't have the dying condition because of the uh, the hero point spending. All right. No, I was a dying three. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Breston is stabilized. He loses dying one. All right, Martha, your turn. Okay. Martha's going to stand up heroically. <laughs> going to do another. Tries to scoot over to where Nohaba is. No, get out! Go, go, go! Are you go. staying? Actually, are you staying prone? Oh, well, actually, I might as well stay prone, right? Yeah. They crawl. They don't move five feet. Stay prone. Is. Yeah. All right. Grand. I will. I will always remember you and bite off her finger. <laughs> okay. That's that, a that's friend. Too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will try and crawl my way out. All right. Five feet. Which finger? Wait, are uh, you dead, Nohava? Yeah, no. I'm she's dead. down. I have no, no she's dead, dead. I'm she's dying. at least missing a finger. You can go one I more. Know. You can go one more square, Grim. Eh. <laughs> Slowly no. pulls himself out. Okay. Martha. Y'all go. Out. Get out of the <clears> dragon. <throat> well, only know Hob is alive, so. <laughs> oh, no. Only I'm alive? <laughs> what? No, oh, she's. I mean, not know Hob, um, Martha. Uh, Lady Martha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm totally going to tell Lady up top the dragon's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody move. Everyone just play dead. All right. Just be cool. Ujala, uh, you are. Yeah. So the funny thing is, is you guys would all be at. Uh, well, assuming Nohava uh, succeeds on her recovery checks, the best that you guys can do is be at zero and stabilized until the dragon decides to start munching down. Yeah, roll play. Uh, the luckily it just ate. I will ask yeah. Martha then. What does Martha do? Being the only one up. Well, they're all dead. Uh, so Martha proceeds to get up, looks at all them, grabs Nohaba's finger, makes it into like a little necklace while she walks back. <laughs> goes and tells the uh, bar owner that they defeated the dragon. It was a hard fought battle. Sadly, all of her friends died, but she'd really like to show uh, their work so she could get paid. <laughs> and then uh, bring him back to the cave and then uh, bust her kneecaps and throw her to the dragon and then leave. <laughs> and while we're sitting here waiting for the dragon to eat us, we can have inner monologues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, unfortunately, how many biddies for that? Uh, wait, what? Is it a really dumb image of Sonic the Prekog running in and going, hey, you're too slow to Martha before he beats the dragon's ass, eats a chili dog, and we, we use a 200 feet of movement. Per- no. Just no. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's a 200 feet. So I think, feet. unfortunately, our adventure ends with four of the five. God damn it. <laughs> four of the five going down. Martha, the high society. Uh, this high society lady here is the only one that will uh, survive 
Survive the battle with the dragon. What this is. That's not it. That's too happy. So, <laughs> Martha having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Martha just skitters out on an adventure. No. What is the dying Nohava's inner monologue? <laughs> wow. She took my finger. I bet it was my left ring finger. So we'll always be together. Reminds me of case number 783. Chicken owners are chicken tenders. Oh my god. <laughs> that was Nohava's last thought. Yep. <laughs> Golf claps. That was great. <laughs> Golf clap. <laughs> Boris. Um, damn. Probably. <sighs> Who will save Boris then now? Oh, Ujala's village will crumble. I die like failure, and I die. Oh my God! You guys have emotional shit, and I'm being dumb. Mustache unravels and lays it aside. Uh, yeah, the mustache begins to fade away. I don't feel so good, Ujala. As my flower begins to wilt the top of my head. <laughs> And I kind of disintegrate into the ground, returning to um, the the Green Father. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Ujala? I never made it to mating season. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't, didn't have the guts to tell them that that's really why I'm here. <laughs> Oh, oh god! But is this I like, bet. All right, go ahead. If if I if I did tell them, they'd be cool with it. And then I die. <laughs> Ujala was here on the rum springer. <laughs> Breston, what's your inner oh. monologue? Oh. Are you muted? I think he's gone punching walls. Oh, no. Sir North. Mr. North. Comrade North, are you there? I don't think he's there. Oh, oh. oh there he is. Oh, there yeah, he is. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Uh, I guess I accidentally plugged my mic. Uh, it was the rage. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were. I wonder how long that's been unplugged. No. I've been shouting shit the whole time. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Cool. cool. No, All damn, right. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Breston, he doesn't get to experience sleep. He doesn't get to experience unconsciousness. He just kind of fades in and out. Like, if he gets knocked out, it's just darkness, and then when he comes back, it's like just a time skip happens for him. He doesn't really experience that, so unfortunately, there's no there's no inner monologue. He just he just turns into a regular wooden doll. Yeah, there's oh. just a, a, a doll that's just sitting there, albeit a horribly scarred and battered one now. But yep. cry. you know what? You you guys want me to make it sad though? You want me to. You well, know, look, give, give like a nice cinematic, uh, yeah. terrible, heart wrenching thing. Oh, have yes, to. but also, was, but no, no. you're going to be someone's right, loop one day. Let's do this. You guys want to hear this? All right. Uh oh. So it, his sack, it bursts um, <laughs> it, it rips and tears uh, from the, the, the horrific dragon breath that threw tons of debris everywhere. And all of his belongings uh, bust out. And there's a, a broken horse toy, a little broken horse toy that's been crudely fixed. And uh, next to that, or on top of the horse, is affixed a, uh, a broken knight toy. 
and the night toy has been fixed. Uh, it, the the head has been removed, and on it is a very poorly uh, from the driftwood we found earlier. Um, the head that looks like Ujala's elephant head on top of the night, oh. and then um, there's like you know that that little uh, that plume uh, on the night helmets. Uh, yeah. that's made of, uh, Nohava and Boris's and, uh, oh. Martha's hair that he's plucked while they weren't looking. Oh. And it's just now on the ground next to his body. Okay. That's beautiful. And then Martha leaves and goes and finds Tamily. But you demanded uh, payment. Um, in all seriousness of what Martha would probably do, so she'll be she would leave for a distance, and I'm assuming she would hear the dragon like eating them, right? Eating somebody. Yeah. What Martha is going to attempt to do is she's going to sit in the other room and live through the horrific moment of listening to this thing eat. And then after about probably four to five hours, she's going to try and sneak back in and grab breast in the puppet. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Make a stealth check for me knows that it probably won't eat him. Uh, you go in and the dragon's eating Nohava's butthole like she did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my last hero point. Okay. Just a good way to go. Oh, yeah. oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, th these dice, they're, uh, this is... For, can I roll a real dice for this? Yeah, go ahead and roll a four. Do it! Uh, Please. <laughs> this, is, this is just utter bullshit. Yeah, this is beyond. <laughs> this is beyond. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Okay, not much better. Eight yeah, plus see? three, so 11. It's, yeah, not, it's not, right. just, not just the dice. It's a bad night. Well, Grim only has one set of die, and it's probably <laughs> fucking cursed because his wife won't let him buy more. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we'll just, Universe we'll just wanted a tragedy today. So 11. <laughs> 11. Uh, oh, I like Cod's idea. I'm going to say on, on an 11, <laughs> um, the dragon having its fill. Uh, uh, Martha would have probably waited until she heard the sounds of slumber, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Did you hear the, the dragon snoring uh, across the chamber? Tell the, the distance based on the sound. And... Uh, uh, I will say with an 11 on a sleeping dragon on the opposite side of the room with everything in between it, uh, you would be able to sneak over and take Breston's uh, corpse and his toys, the little doll that is Breston, along with uh, his belongings and leave the dungeon. With okay. So she would grab Breston, hang him over his back of him like a backpack. Mm -hmm. Uh then try and get payment saying we took care of the dragon but everybody else sadly perished in the fight okay uh this will be a deception check uh, a lie your ass off you can right. ro roll this physical or digital at this point it doesn't seem like it matters it all right let's, let's that 20. i never get to i never get to use my real one so i'm gonna try it go ahead uh yeah. 11 plus 2 so 13 13 all right Give me just a second. Mm -mm. I'm playing very sad music right now. So and to sweeten the deal, I'll really say good. I only want my portion of the payment since everybody else perished. Okay. I'm playing emo music, Andy. I hope you're happy. She <laughs> Where are you? Share. you? <laughs> and I'm so she sorry. gives you 25 gold. <laughs> Uh, and barely says a word as she hands over the payment. She uh, uh, understands. She's lost adventurers before, as you know. 
Um, but not to anything like a dragon. You just thought they couldn't handle big rats. Um, yeah, she doesn't argue at all. She hands you the 25 gold. Maybe wearing Breston's uh, body as a backpack is kind of what, uh, what pushes her over the edge. But she gives it to you, doesn't say anything. And um, yeah. And last, Martha would get a pair of crafting tools from a shop, hop on the next boat, and just be in the corner trying to fix Bre- uh, Breston. All right. Then that is a good spot to go out on. As Martha hops on the next ship out and tries her best to repair Breston. Some kind of working order. Maybe she goes out and tries to figure out how to return him back. Um, but yeah, that's where we'll leave off uh, on the beginner box. But guys, I am sorry it ended the way it did. But I don't think the dragon would have done anything different there. Uh, I mean, everyone lined up to attack a dragon butthole. I'm happy. (laughs) I got to I got to save one one person. Boris feels comfort comfort knowing that he saved one person. That was a ton (laughs) of fun. It started off wrong. And that's my bad. I didn't get to swing or rage or anything. It would (laughs) have maybe been different. But uh it doesn't yeah. even matter. I love you guys so much, and yeah. this was so much fun. As long as <laughs> all of our characters, that's a big thing. This. As long as everybody had fun, I did. I was gonna, I was gonna commission a piece from David to do all of our party chilling, listening to music. I'm gonna commission a piece now of us, uh, Martha, doing little uh, gravestones for us, probably now. <laughs> Aww. So, um, <laughs> so big, big thanks uh, for everybody that watched uh, and. About all the the uh, the whole adventure, uh, thanks to people that just stopped in tonight on this awful yeah. awful ending. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, then I have to go down and thank uh, Monk for joining us. Um, appreciate you coming over from gaming related and hanging out tonight. And yeah, with the whole of course. campaign. No, um, I love playing with you guys. That was fun. Want to thank David for. Uh, Hopefully, uh, the first of more campaigns. Uh, and this is this is also an open invitation to all you guys. We play some more in the future. You are on the, the list of our players, for sure, for any future nice. stuff. Uh, uh, David, thank you a ton for playing. Uh, yes. I love Breston. Uh, it's it a good time having you. I'm sorry it was sad. Sorry. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's the dice tell a story. Yeah. It was the, the, the story dice they wanted. Tell a story. Very angry aggressive story <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> apparently <laughs> um general thanks for playing another game thanks for being yep. chaos thanks for punching dragons and buttholes and thank you for letting me get my little bit of sadness in there because <laughs> uh david caught some little hints of my gnome and so i mm-hmm. wanted to throw in that last little bit of yep. some lore <laughs> yep um Walrus, thank you for joining us for the first time. Uh, yeah. And this is, if I recall, this is your first time being on a streamed ETRPG game, right? Yes, sir. As I said in the beginning, it's it was a huge honor. And this this story is a bittersweet ending, honestly. This reminds me of Berserk a little bit, and I love it. You better play more with us. Yep. Uh, you, yep. Ha- you have an open invite to play more games. So. Uh, I better see you or around. Or suppository. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> From Ujala. Uh, yeah, Walrus, it was a blast having you. Uh, fantastic player. Uh, Boris yeah. was awesome. Uh, healing was fantastic. Uh, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Can't say enough good things about having you on here. Uh, Grim, thank you for giving us your time. Thanks for staying late tonight. And uh, yes. as always, appreciate uh, having you. Thank you for playing games. And uh, thanks for playing this beginner box. I had a great time. Y'all are badasses. I love you guys so much. Oh, Martha. Might might we see Martha in the the future? Oh, no. Never. (laughs) She's she's sailing (laughs) off into the sunset. (laughs) No, not Martha. Never. Maybe maybe a different character in the future, but definitely not Martha. (laughs) Martha's retired. Yeah, Martha's not meant for the long-form campaigns. (laughs) I had a lot of firsts with Martha. Diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> TPK. It was amazing. Thank you. I want to thank yeah. Martha specifically. 
That, uh, yes. Wait, chat. <laughs> does it count player's as a finger? <laughs> <laughs> does it count as a TPK if one player made it away? No, it no, is it not. Doesn't. God damn it, Grim. What? <laughs> you denied me my TPK. I usually survive. <laughs> He's high society. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, he was not. He was the lowest brow. His name was Marty. <laughs> was his name? <laughs> Wait, Martha was a boy named Marty. Yeah, he was a man the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> just pretending. Wait, no, Hava, that, did you know that was the voice? <laughs> no, Hava must have seen your diggly I mean, bits. No, Hava didn't know. I mean, No, Hava was just, oh, senpai. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> what else? What, what else are you guys hiding from me? I waited forty-one years for this story to be told. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, guys, I have a confession. Yep. I'm not a cactus. I was a pine tree all along. <laughs> <laughs> Fake I was cactus. Like, I, touched your, <laughs> I touched your quills. <laughs> that means something. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, yeah. So yeah, guys, it was fantastic. Uh, everybody in chat, thank you for watching once again. We appreciate the hell out of all you guys. Uh, appreciate yes, all the bits and you. resubs and everything tonight. Uh, we're going to keep it going. Some more D&D &D stuff. Uh, we're going to head over to Insomnia Night in his Fandelver and Blow campaign. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking emo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to head on over there tonight. Uh, we're going to check out some Fandelver and Below from Insomnia Night. Oh, yeah, he's a great dude. Uh, high chaos energy, so I think everybody here will fit in there. Um, Hell yeah. We will be back uh, not Wednesday because we're off from Witchlight this week. This is our... Uh, oh, yeah. They made it to a new area, so we have our week off to try to prepare some things ahead of time. So uh, Thursday night for co-op uh, with Grim and Rev is when I'll be back. I'm sad now. Don't be sad. Be happy you had fun. We. No, I'm sad about Wednesday. I'm fine with this. Oh. <laughs> Wednesday, I'm upset. <laughs> oh, it's well, like I could still hear her voice. Appreciate it. Nohava is haunting <laughs> you. All right. You guys uh, have a good night. Say hi to Insomnia. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on Thursday night for co-op night. Adios, yeah, everybody. Good, good game. Oh. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Smells nice.